Okay, guys, it's time. Let's get this started. Continue. Now I have a whole bunch of saves here, <laughs> which is the most recent. 2246. This is it. Would you like to load this data? Yes. There we go. So, trying to remember what the very, very last thing we did. I did not get to watch the previous stream right before starting this. So, um, let's talk. I think the doll's here, right? So yes. Busy. She says, I'm worried about Lady Mo. Not Mo, John. Moe? Moe? <laughs> but dawn is swiftly approaching. If you cannot remove your mark before daybreak, your life will end. It may sound harsh, but please focus on only your survival for now. Oh, LB, you're going to go to sleep? Oh, have a good one, LB. Get some good rest. Thank you for dropping in and hanging out. Oh, and your mom had a similar issue, being an artist. I guess like holding like the pen or paintbrush or whatever like that for too long. Oof. I always try to do my exercises, you know, different things to like help your joints and stuff like that. Okay. The key to the spirit's grudge, it should be within H Elementary. Fate has tied him to that school. Yeah, that's where we saw the creepy mirror with that kid. So I think we're going back there. But didn't like that girl that we took with us last time, she like ran away or something, right? I thought she left the mansion. We don't know where she is. Yeah, see, I can't even pick her anymore. She's not in the list. So we can have Tsukasa, Mikasa Tsukasa, or Satoru Ashita. I don't trust this guy. This guy seems shady as heck. The whole truth. I've never heard of that one. Relentless, the whole truth. Is it a new one? Sounds kind of cool. I love Asian horror flicks. I think my favorite Thai horror movie, I think it's Thai, is this movie called Shudder. Don't watch the American version, it's trash, but the Thai version is super scary. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like that. Or I think it's Shutter, not Shudder. <laughs> um, so I guess we'll take him as our partner. We're already partnered. Okay, perfect. Um, <laughs> it's weirding me out. I'm sure it's on purpose, but look, this the talk right here, the text is like off balance. Do you notice that? All of the other ones, even the one right behind me, they're all perfectly straight. And then just talk is like crooked. I'm sure it's on purpose, but it's weird. Um, what do we have in our bag? We have a letter opener, holy hard hat, forgot about that, plastic bottle, lipstick, red pen, girl slippers, flare, plastic sheet. Oh, we only have one flare though, so we got to be careful how we use that. Oh, you're right. It's not just the text. It's the whole graphic, that whole metal, huh? I saw The Devil was pretty good. I like that one, Platypus. It's been a long time since I've seen it. Okay, I think we want to exit, and this will take us to the next one. Oh, and Relentless. So that movie, when two siblings stumble on a strange hole in the wall, their grandparents' house, horrifying incidents reveal sinister secrets about their family. That sounds pretty cool. And last year, that's a really new movie. I'll have to add that to my list. Thank you, Relentless. What? Phantasma? It's your birthday? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> this game does not mute itself. You're going to get creepy music in the background. But... Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Phantasma. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Phantasma. It sounds like it hasn't been the best birthday. You say it's been a day and you forgot, which means it's probably been pretty hectic. But I hope that you have something cool planned, maybe for the weekend, your next day off, something fun. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's no point, but happy birthday. <laughs> the only singing I accept. My, John's terrible auto-tune singing. I love it. <laughs> what happened? I thought I would try to exit this building. I think I hit the wrong one. Okay, we're going to go to H Elementary again. Which is where we were, but we got the heck out of there when things got bad. Now we're going to take another partner here. <laughs> We've come back to H Elementary. I know full well that in the end, this place is just a school. Let's go. Tsukasa nods silently and steps forward. So it's been very long. Your friends and I are doing Star Wars this weekend. Like a marathon of the movies? Or how many movies are you planning on watching? That sounds like a lot of fun. 
Okay, so, oh, this is interesting. We have the map. I guess we always had that. At least two of them. Which, if you could pick only two, which ones would you watch? Okay, we go to the entrance. I don't know what direction we want to go. I think we'll explore. So Attack of the Clones and Empire Strikes Back, which are both like the middle movies in their trilogies, aren't they? Let's go left. We saw it earlier, but the hallway has completely transformed. Yeah, all these roses or flowers, they weren't here before. Seen them like this. Are roses really all that pretty? When you look close, they're scary. Huh? What's that? Tsukasa suddenly speaks up. Where? By the window. See? Over there. Something sparkling. A window? All I see are rose vines. I may as well check it out, though. Rose vines. Is it here? Can't look to the right. I'm thinking they're talking to the left. So you can't watch episode three and your friend doesn't want to watch A New Hope. <laughs> and we just watch Phantom Menace. <laughs> That's awesome. Do you like watch all of them like at least every year, Phantasma? Kind of keep it going. I definitely have some movies like that I watch at least once a year. It seems to be locked. Which window were you talking about, kid? Um, maybe I'm supposed to hit A to examine here. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have a flashlight. I forgot about this. Hmm. Something's glinting over by the window. Looks like something's buried in the rose vines. There we go. There's definitely something there. I didn't notice it before. No, maybe it wasn't there yet when we passed through here earlier. Because it wasn't on the plants, right? That guard from before. Did he drop that? How does the kid know about the guard from before? He, he didn't come with me here. I think I took the, the younger girl. Maybe. It might have fallen on the floor and been lifted up by the vines. It's only now that it's high enough to be spotted. If it belonged to the guard, then it could come in handy while we're investigating. He was in charge of watching this building after all. Let's check it out. So I can look? Let's do that. Going off the reflection, it's probably metal. I think I can get it if I stick my hand in there. God, I'm getting uh, vibes of Silent Hill all of a sudden. Let's see. The only one you want, will not watch multiple times a year is episode three. And you love the movie, but you are traumatized. Oh, no. And Relentless, uh, you don't think you mentioned it, but the fact that you're playing this game made me want to solve a mystery. So you finally bought the Famicom Detective Club remakes for the Switch. I've heard good things about those, Relentless. Have you started them up yet? That's awesome. And let's see. Lord of the Rings is a yearly tradition. The director's cut. Kano, I need to watch them again. I used to watch them over and over, but it's been years since I watched them. Um, let's hit X to feel, I think. I push my fingers into the vines. Ow! I was careful, but the oddly sharp thorn still cut my skin. Oh, that's not good. Damn, this is pain. I keep fighting with the vines. I finally reach the metal object. Got the school key ring. There we go. Maybe we can open up this locked door right here. Yep, it's just as we thought. These definitely belong to the guard. Keys will be extremely useful. We can get into places. Tsukasa suddenly cuts off mid-sentence. What's wrong? Nothing. I just forgot what I was saying. Anyway, let's keep looking around. That sounds kind of shady. Alright, new info was added to the spirit file. Continued investigation of the school. Okay, so now I'm going to try to go left and see if we can do that. Let's see. And you enjoyed the one you're playing so far? That's awesome, Relentless. You started the first one today and you're a couple hours in so far? This one's locked. Okay, so then do I go to my bag and try to use the key ring? How does this work? I can't, like, use it here. What is this? How do you actually do it? Hmm. I guess it would use it automatically if I needed it. I don't see any way to, like, use an item directly here, so we'll keep going forward. 
I should probably explore every room again. Oh, like right there. There's something up there. The lights on the ceiling are silent and dark without power. Try going left. We entered the room on the left. I think we've been in here before, but because of all the plants, some things may have changed. We already saw this nonsensical scribbles. Nothing to go there. I don't think there's anything in here. <laughs> Phantasma adds to list. <laughs> Check. Okay. I think we're still going the right way. Now that was originally like an NES game. Is that right? Because you said Famicom. Yeah, I think it was an NES game. Relentless. But like Japan only, right? The broken window is letting in a piercingly cold wind. That doesn't sound good. Okay, left. I think we've been here before. Oh, okay, so down in this room right here, this is where we found a whole bunch of corpses and we had to hide in there when there was like some monster or something right up here looking for us, but it didn't find us. So, can we go back down here again? There's an entrance to the underground room. Yeah, let's go in there. Great idea. Corpses everywhere. I didn't really get to explore this area. There's a dried up corpse. Look at it. The body is twisted in an odd position, as if it's still in pain even now. Um, let's feel the corpse. I hesitantly search the corpse. But I don't find anything. How about the bed? There's a bed with metal pipe frame. The mattress is completely discolored, stained with something that looks like sweat. Someone must have been living here, and for a long time too. I think we did that one as well. Oh, and in this weekend, you're going to a friend's house. You're getting pizza and ice cream cake from Cold Stone. That sounds so good, Phantasma. That's always my cake of choice. I'm not a huge cake person, but I love Ice cream cakes. Just such a good combination. That sounds great. Nice. Okay, so let's feel the bed. That sounds like a bad idea. The mattress is oozing dark, dirty water. It smells like sewage. There's another corpse. There's a dried up corpse. Has the same description as the other one, but let's try searching this one. I hesitantly search the corpse. Don't find anything. What else we got here? So they all seem to say the same thing, but I'm going to try to search each one just in case. Nothing on this one. There's another one. And nothing. <laughs> Strike three, we're out. Oh, this one's making a noise. I hesitantly search the corpse. Something flashes within the vines by its feet. A round hand mirror. Hmm. Looks like a gift for a young woman. Like a little makeup mirror or something. Finding a mirror in a place like this. That's pretty incongruous. I think that's probably it here. I don't see anything else highlighting. I think we can go back up. How do I get out of here? Do I have to highlight the uh, ladder? There we go. Sometimes you just have to highlight something to move, and sometimes you just press a direction on the D-pad. It's kind of inconsistent. I've heard of that one silver case platypus. I haven't tried that one yet. And you're going to get a cookie dough cake with ice cream and yellow cake. Oh, and you got that Beholder 3? You'll like it and also die immediately. <laughs> nice. Now, do you have to play the other ones, Phantasma, or can you just jump right into Beholder 3? I think we already searched everything else here. Yeah, we've checked in here before. There was nothing. And there's like just some old musty books there. That's cool. That's, I always get worried when I'm jumping into the middle of a series. It's like, ah, am I going to be missing out? Should I play the other ones first? Most games, you don't have to worry about that, but every once in a while, you do. 
for example, Last of Us 2. If you jumped into Last of Us 2 without playing Last of Us 1, you'd be completely lost. That'd be a terrible experience. That's cool. I like independent stories like that when it's a bigger series. We're going upstairs. Oh, wait, there was a bunch of snakes up here, weren't there? If I remember right. I think if we go up one more set of stairs, there's like a bunch of snakes. We looked at the concrete before. Nothing there. <laughs> Somebody dropped all their snakes there. Oh, they're still there. Poisonous snakes cover the hallway. I'd be foolish to keep trying or to try to keep going. We decide to go back to the landing. Who? How do you know they're poisonous? Are you some kind of snake expert? I wouldn't know just by looking at a snake. If it was a rattlesnake, yeah, I know what that is. But otherwise, I can't tell snakes apart. Wait, they haven't finished the game? Is it in early access or something, Phantasma? <laughs> Platypus. Nice. I see what you did there. Why did it have to be snakes? That's one of Andy's favorite... Um, rides at Disneyland is the Indiana Jones ride. Okay, so now we're going to go back and check out the other side. Maybe I can look at the um, mirror that we just got. Can I do anything with this? A metal hand mirror with flowers and bird designs on the back. The mirror surface is cloudy, but it's still usable. <laughs> I like the description here. It says, Command Show. Range Long. <laughs> What? What does that have to do with anything? Oh, you haven't finished it. I see what you mean. So there could be another tie-in. It'd probably be pretty minor. I mean, usually series like to have some kind of nods, but if they do it well, it'll enhance it for the people that know, and it won't detract for the people that don't know. <laughs> A snake expert. A snack expert, if you will. <laughs> nice. Um, I don't remember if there's anything in here. Doesn't look like it. My guess is we're trying to go back to that mirror. I don't know what we're going to do with that. Because it got real creepy when we tried to interact with that kid. Okay, that door's locked. Once again, we can't use the key ring. Wait, before we go back, I should search. Oops. I used the wrong analog stick. Let's make sure there's nothing in here. The broken window is letting in a piercingly cold wind. It's the same. The rain coming in from the broken window is making the floor cold and damp. Okay, I think that was it. Yeah, I bet they don't, Phantasma. And platypus. So it would follow that people know what the dangerous ones look like. Um, oh, there are really poisonous snakes in the East and Southeast Asia. Like, much worse than rattlesnakes. Oh, that makes sense then, uh, platypus. I bet they can tell right away. I don't hardly ever see snakes. We got some scary spiders, but not so much snakes around here. So the fire door is rusted shut and won't move. Let's go up here. I climb the stairs. I wonder if we can use something on that door. Halfway up the stairs, I trip on something. Oh, this is where we're supposed to go. What's this? Moe's bag is on the staircase. She came back here? We got Moe's bag. Inside the bag is some random junk along with her school jacket. That means Moe is somewhere in the school. Yeah, it's a safe guess. She's not at this spot, though. The cracked mirror is the only thing in sight. Discounting her bag, there's no trace of Moe anywhere. Let's search the school. We just did! We've been to every room we have access to, except for the snake area. That's all we can do. Yeah, hearts, I'm not a big fan of spiders. I don't... I have like arachnophobia, but I don't want one crawling on me. Have you guys heard? I, I think it's on the East Coast. They keep talking about these like spiders that can kind of fly. They technically parachute, but there's supposed to be a lot more of them appearing. I think they're in Georgia or something like that. And I don't know. There's some, you know, 
over dramatized um <laughs> what about spiders? <laughs> There's some over-dramatized news articles about flying spiders descending on the East Coast. All kinds of nonsense. I'm sure it won't be a big deal, but that's kind of a creepy thought. In any case, we'll just have to keep looking around. My guess? She got sucked into that mirror by the spirit. <laughs> I gotta try Papers, Please sometimes, uh, Relentless. I heard such good things about that. Let's see, in hearts, can we bring bug spray or hairspray and a lighter for the spiders? <laughs> it's one of those things that, like, if you have enough spiders in the house, just burn the house down. It's not worth it anymore. It's a cracked mirror. It's hard to see your reflection. There's cracks in the mirror. There's nothing else particularly odd about it. Let's touch it. I run my finger down the cracks. Tsukasa watches me worriedly, but nothing happens. Hmm. Are there any items I can use here? What would we use on a mirror? How about another mirror? I take out the round hand mirror. I've taken it out, but I can't think of a way to use it. My guess is we are supposed to do something here. Um, we use her bag. Moe's school bag, found on the stairs. Attached to it is a keychain and a strange doll. Inside her school jacket, some textbooks, and other random items of an unknown purpose. We take out Moe's bag. But what do I do with it? I don't have any particularly good ideas. <laughs> and do you like to play those time-driven games on stream? Well, I don't really know what you mean by time-driven. Is it like a, um, what do they call those, roguelikes? Where... You got to beat the game in one run and oftentimes you fail and you have to go back to the beginning and try to do a bit better and you keep doing better and better but you replay the whole thing over and over kind of like hades or something like that i don't know if it's like that um yeah it's fantastic i have heard those spiders are pretty big almost like they, they were saying like the size of like a kid's hand it's like oh gosh no thank you okay what other tools could we use like, I can't think of what I would need to use on this mirror. How about the letter opener? No. <laughs> well, maybe now that we found the bag here, maybe there won't be snakes up here. Let's try going up. There's probably snakes. Yeah, there's snakes. <laughs> okay, get out of here. Maybe I am supposed to use something on this mirror. Let's look at the, this the ghost that haunts this place and the mirror, Hanahiko. Let's double check his information. Okay, chased by Hanahiko, we fled into the underground room to find several skeletons wrapped in rose vines. A spirit of one of the victims showed me a vision of the past, a disgusting image of a woman dying, entangled in roses. She was likely one of Hanahiko's victims, just like that guard. Even more surprising, a guy named Mashita was hiding in there. The ex-detective explained all the victims were staff at the school or their family. Why do they have to die such a cursed death? What's concerning, uh, what's concerning is a notebook Mashita found in the room. It claimed that some kind of tutoring was going on in there. The tutor was the principal and the pupil his adopted son. I forgot all this. The delicate boy loved to dress up in skirts. Under the pretense of correcting bad habits, numerous twisted actions were performed on the boy in that room. He grew weaker and weaker. His teachers should have noticed, so they were just pretending ignorance? Okay. I'm trying to think. Oh, this is new too. Okay. Um, I think that's older stuff, though. No, this is stuff that we just found today. Although there was this one clue right here where it says, The voice rang out in my head again. What did it mean by their blood denies him? Oh, Jumi, we think we're missing an item before we can come here? Let's explore downstairs a little bit more. Probably haven't done a good enough job searching with the uh, flashlight. So you have work days and you have a certain number of tasks to complete and you have to earn money for your bills. I mean, assuming Phantasma, like a playthrough is, you know, under 20 hours or something. I think anything's pretty much up for a stream game. I only ever played one roguelike type of game like that. And it was... Um, Dead Cells. I did stream that a long time ago. That was fun. <laughs> oh, that's true. You mean it's a game that maybe I wouldn't be able to, like, 
chat with you guys at all. I'd be so focused on the game because of how stressful it is. It just might mean I have to, like, have breaks where I don't chat and then catch up when there's, like, an intermission screen or something. What the hell? Suddenly there's a strong grip on my shoulder. I glance at the hallway out of the corner of my eye. What the hell? I'm pretty sure Tsuka Tsukasa was on my other side. No, even if they were on this side, they'd have no reason to grab me. Oh no, this is another 50-50 chance of dying. I have to be quick. Calm down. I'm just imagining things. My voice doesn't sound very convincing. Don't panic. It's an illusion. Calm down. Hold it together. An icy chill envelops my right side. Hold it together. Call your partner. I'm trying to hold it together. I turn to Tsukasa and open my mouth to tell them. When I do... Oh no. <laughs> I might have messed up. Did I cause this? Oh crap. Safe. Okay. My guess is one of those three choices would be death. My only clue was hold it together. I see a terrifying face in the darkness. And then an outline lying in wait in front of me. Is that her? Is that our other partner? Oh crap, another one. What should I do? Close your eyes and pray. <laughs> Keeping it together. I squeeze my eyes shut and pray. That goes against everything I would actually do in that actual scenario. Just then... What are you doing? Tell me Tsukasa is not actually dead. With Tsukasa's voice, the figure vanishes. I find myself standing in front of the door. Nice. <laughs> God, those are stressful. <laughs> Death is always a choice. Not a good choice. The mark burns scarlet. Uh-oh. Dawn. Half an hour left until death closes in. That's like not much time at all. Are you alright? Yeah, yeah. Tsukasa picks something off my left shoulder. This is... The hand I felt gripping my shoulder was actually a rose thorn. But more importantly... Tsukasa, what's the matter? You're acting kinda... Huh? Something's wrong. He's not acting normal. Amnesia. My heart pangs with worry. Oh, that's right. I think we're supposed to lose more and more of our memories as this continues, right? I think we could probably try that game on stream, Phantasma. It might not be too bad. <laughs> hey, Michael. What's up, buddy? How are you doing? I'd say... Happy Friday, but I just don't have work tomorrow, so it just feels like my Friday. Hope you're doing good. How's it going? Is Tsukasa spacing out because the Mark's curse has progressed? But I don't understand. I'm still the same, at least as far as I know. Like, would you know that you lost your memory? I don't know. I don't think people that start to lose their memory really feel like they lost their memory. They just might not even know they had those memories to begin with. At least at first. Let's go. Right. Sure. <laughs> Tsukasa shuffles forward like a zombie. Something is seriously wrong. This is bad. Did you just say that out loud? <laughs> Danger crept up on us so quickly. We're running out of time. His condition might get worse. Oh, awesome, Michael. Nice. Now, in this, uh, since we started, we've you barely missed anything. We went back to this... Uh, um, school where that creepy little ghost kid was and we found our old partner's bag so apparently she came back here but we can't find her yet and we just had a creepy moment where something grabbed our shoulder we just played it cool we survived but now our new partner that younger boy he's acting kind of strange Tsukasa we don't know what's wrong with him he might be losing his memories <laughs> Kano you get the nuggets <laughs> nice Michael just got home from work and got some McDonald's 
and your character knows about his memory loss. Only Shuli because they were like asked questions, you know? I think his memory was tested and that made him realize he doesn't have his memory. I, I think until they asked us our name, we had no idea we lost our memory. You just kind of exist without questioning it until something like that comes up, I guess. And Dapper, what's up Dapper, welcome. Okay, I'll figure something out. My guess is, do we have that thorn in our inventory now? Well, this is a new room, isn't it? No, we don't have the thorn, okay. What do we have here? Research, observing office ladies. The hell? There are six office ladies who ride my train. I observed them for 10 days. I learned popular colors are brown and pink. Everyone's hair is brown and their mouths are pink. It's weird. The paper is falling apart. I doubt anyone would care if I tore it off and took it with me. Oh, that could be a clue. Brown and pink. Maybe I'll take it. Maybe we need to know that. I ripped the research paper off the wall. Observing office ladies. There's another one up here. Oh no. Why did they make that noise? I don't like that. Double cheeseburger. You know, I don't go to McDonald's anymore, but man, I still have so much nostalgia from having that as a kid. <laughs> I used to always get the two cheeseburgers with the large fry. Actually, I used to love going there even just for that Monopoly game that McDonald's used to do. I always loved to collect those things. I never won anything of like beyond maybe like the smallest prize, but it was just exciting. And Sheila, you've been playing some Minecraft and you just got over 30 diamonds in one mining trip? Hell yes, dude. Nice. Diamonds are such a pain to find. And Dapper, if you get arrested, they might be suspicious if the note in your pocket is labeled observing office ladies. True that. That would look very suspicious. <laughs> I'm worried about us now. It looked like there was something else there. Research. Plan to destroy weeds. Hmm. What does this say? Experiment. I poured different liquids on the weeds in my yard to see which was effective. Results? C. Miso soup and D. Salt water worked. Salt can destroy weeds. Dissolving salt in water first makes it easier for the plants to absorb and speeds the effect. That's kind of cool. We take it. The paper is falling apart. Doubt anybody would care if I yanked that off. Yoink. We'll take that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hold on. Hey, birds live. Welcome, raiders, to John Cadia. How are you all doing? How was your stream, Jay Birds? What were you playing? Jack 2. That's like the uh, the cool, edgy Jack. That's kind of like Grand Theft Auto, isn't it? <laughs> I love the Jack and Daxter games. I played all three of them before moving on to the PS3, but yeah, super good. Greatest game ever. Ever. Now, I'm trying to remember, so I don't mix up Jack 2 and Jack 3, but Jack 2, you had like a goatee and like a gun most of the time, and I think you can like Jack, like, Jack, uh, flying vehicles, right? That one was super fun. I liked it. <laughs> like that, Max. I demand you not run away right away. Unless you like horror, Jaybirds. I cannot suggest whether you should go or not. But yeah, we're playing a pretty creepy kind of... Uh, Asian style visual novel horror game. I'm digging it so far. Right now we're uh, trying to find a friend that's lost in this school. We think this creepy little ghost boy might have taken her. Yeah, let's go ahead and take that research paper. Plan to destroy weeds. See if anything happens. No, nothing creepy? Okay, good. But have you already played that game before, Jaybirds? And if so, or if not, how are you liking it? Why can't we look at all that? There's all kinds of creepy writing in red on the blackboard. There's a plant here. The plants are dry and withered. My guess is uh, that might have been the weeds test. Oh, there's something down here. A white powder substance is scattered around. It's a coarse powder. It glitters in the glow of the flashlight. I'm not really inclined to sticking it in my mouth to make sure, but it's probably salt. If I had a container, I could take some with me, which we'll need for weeds, right? So let's uh, look at our tools. We have a plastic bottle. Can we put the salt in there? The white powder seems to be salt. I take out the plastic bottle and fill it with the powder. Nice. 
Now we just need water to help finish this, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Everybody hide. We're getting raided. And Jaybird's horror is all right. You just got to leave and Max doesn't want me to raid and run. Go. <laughs> if you got to go, I totally understand. That is my life in streaming. It's very rare that I get to do an entire stream for three or four or more hours and then stick around for a long time afterwards. Usually if it's on Saturday, I've been neglecting Andy. So as soon as I raid, I got to get going pretty soon. And if it's on a work night, I got to go right away because I have to get to sleep. So I totally understand Jaybirds. But thank you again so much for that raid. Oh, and she has played it many times, but the stream's telling otherwise. <laughs> oh, the Jack 2, Max. I get you. I was supposed to be on yours. I mean, Jaybirds, you can't leave. That'd be so rude. How could you do that to me? Just kidding. And Shuli, in exchange for me finishing paying off your current phone, you're getting a Google Pixel 6 for your birthday, which is really exciting. Hell yes, Shuli. What is your current phone right now? I never used a Pixel, but I've heard really good things about them. Okay, we have got salt. What's happening? First, purify with seawater. I hear that voice again. I don't react or let it show on my face. No need to make Tsukasa worry. Seawater. So that would be salt water then. See, I like it that they explain that because, you know, if you were a lot younger, you might not put seawater needing to have salt and water combined together. It's kind of cool. Does the roof have a leak? The ceiling looks stained in places. We'll have to uh, now find some source of water. I don't know. And Michael, you remember during the last stream, uh, Moe went missing? Any suspicions of what might have happened to her? I'm thinking she got pulled into the mirror, Michael, because we found her bag right next to that mirror that broke with that creepy kid, and that's all we found so far. So my, think, my guess is that the ghost kid got her, and we have to now get salt water to help take care of some vines and hopefully get her free. <laughs> Kano, wow, Josh, let's be on Jay's side. <laughs> guys are pulling me one way and then the other. Oh, have, uh, you take care, Jay Birds. Have a great night. Thank you so much for raiding. <laughs> Poor Max, I give up. I give up. So is a OnePlus Nord uh, N10 5G? You like it, but the battery is starting to wear down. Is it one of those phones, Sheely, that you can't really replace the battery? I remember... I, I usually have Samsung phones. Those used to be really easy to swap batteries, but I'm not sure if it's the same case anymore. Okay, have we seen water anywhere here? I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember seeing a faucet or anything. Oh, now we're outside. I didn't mean to go outside. kind of double checking each room but I don't remember any kind of water sources do you we could go back to the mansion maybe maybe we can get water there especially if this place is dilapidated and not cared for anymore there probably wouldn't be any kind of water source the water should be turned off here so yeah let's actually exit and go back to the mansion and see if we can get water there I almost feel like there was water in the garage right before we left. Let's go back to the mid. Let's see, if I try to use it here, what happens? Anything? Can't use it here directly. And Michael, you have the Note 20 Ultra 5G and you definitely can't replace the battery. That sucks. That really sucks. You know, it's kind of a... Not this Xbox controller. This one has a built-in. But that's one thing I kind of like and hate, that Xbox controllers. It seems kind of cheap that they don't come with a rechargeable battery. But with the PlayStation controller, your battery is eventually going to start to have no charge. And you can't really replace it easily. Oh, no, there is no water in here. Hmm, never mind. It's got to be at the school. So... One nice thing about the Xbox controller is it is a little bit cheaper, so you can actually buy rechargeable batteries or even like a rechargeable battery kit, so you can just dock it and charge it that way, and then you're good to go. 
and it's one you can't open without special tools. You would pay to get it replaced, but it happened pretty quick. So you might as well just pay for the rest of the phone off and $100 to get a bread phone as a gift. 100%. That's a good idea. Yeah, I have an S10 Plus, and I still have no problems with it. It seems fantastic. I'm not quite ready to replace it. Andy's talked about wanting to get a new phone, but I think she wants a new phone strictly for the better camera. <laughs> she just That's like her most used function on her phone, honestly. And I think the cameras on the S10 are great. I'm not sure how much progress they've made since then. The door's locked. Well, there's got to be some water here somewhere. In there. How are they going to make this water to find? Oops. Wait, is this where I wanted to go? Maybe this is where I wanted to go. There wasn't water down here, was there? Andy is wife, actually. Andrea, but she just goes by Andy. Don't remember seeing any water source down here. I see some pipes in the background. Um, You know what? This is probably where we need to use the salt water when we actually have it. If I was to go to my bag right now and try to use this Bottle of salt? Yeah, I won't let you yet. Hmm. She doesn't have any water in her bag. That would have been convenient. Making sure there's no water source dripping or something. Nope, I don't see anything down here. Oh, of course, Phantasma. Happy birthday again. I hope you have a wonderful time with your friends and that ice cream cake and the Star Wars. That sounds like a perfect Phantasma weekend. Take care again. Thank you so much for hanging out. <laughs> Sorry, Kano. I am off the market. Although, and this is one thing I don't agree with, but hey, to each their own. But some people on Twitch, probably more of the very attractive variety, so I am not part of this, will pretend that they don't have a significant other for the exact reason, I guess I wouldn't call it grooming, but essentially lying to your audience to kind of keep people around to think that they have like, you know, a chance of hooking up with you or something, which don't go to Twitch for that. That's a terrible idea. It's not a very good dating site. There's much better dating sites out there for that specific reason, but, uh, yeah, I don't agree with that kind of mentality. See any water in here? Oh, and Holly! How's it going, Holly? Welcome. Oh, the staff room. Oh, wait. No, I've been here. Dang it. Nope. I got excited for a second. It's like, no, you've already been here, John. I think it's a school journal. The paper is deteriorated from age and bugs, so I can't read it. You know, there were some things in this game that I thought they said were, like, damp or wet. I wonder if we can use the bottle there. There. Oh, I keep going backwards. I have a hard time knowing which way I'm going in this game sometimes. Oh, you know what I need to do? Just look at the map and look what direction the arrow is pointing. If I want to go back to the main hallway, I have to press down. There we go. Okay. i got to pay more attention to that. It is going... Very good, Holly. I narrowly escaped an attack from one of the ghosts. <laughs> I They give you a little clue. It just said, like, stay calm or something like that. And I had to go against my intuition of, like, running, screaming, yelling. But we managed to survive. Okay. E water here. Maybe it's upstairs, actually. Not where the snakes are, but was there anything around here? There's crumbled ground there. Don't see much. I'm almost looking for a sprinkler system or something. <laughs> yeah, see, I've had a hard time. I still haven't beat the main first boss. I know I can take him, but I'm going to go out and level up a little bit more. I've, I've killed like three other side bosses, but I haven't taken out the first main boss yet. 
I got him down to like a, an eighth of his health. I got him down real far. Okay, the dust is so sick on the ceiling, so thick on the ceiling that the uh, just walking around here causes showers of particles. Ew. This is dusty. Oh, that's messed up. That's just cheating, Hasifa. You know, that happened to me once. I was just running away on my horse, and I couldn't believe they were able to still hit me with arrows the way I was moving and dodging. It's like, that's not a cool game. What's this over here? I think I missed this before. An emergency alarm. The light on the alarm is very faint. Something might be wrong with it. The light on the alarm is very faint. Oh, I already read that. Um, if I pull this, is it like a fire alarm? Could we maybe get the fire um, hoses to start firing off? Let's try it. I open it up and shine the flashlight to see if there's anything inside. I found a worn out talisman. Not what I expected. <laughs> when I pick up the worn talisman, I feel warmth flow through me. Well, this happened before. Soul power. Nice. We got to refill that. The worn talisman crumbles silently in my hand. It's one of those optional things you have to get from time to time. Oh, I missed this too. Uh, warnings and contacts. A flyer containing warnings and a list of contacts. Do not leave handprints on the mirror in the eastern staircase. Thank you. Independent research presentation. First floor. Multi-purpose classroom. Come check it out. Are we done here? I don't think you'll find anything. What about... Feel. <laughs> I turn over the torn flyer. But I don't find anything in particular. Okay, I think that was all we can do there. Oh, and speaking of ice cream cakes, uh, would it be a bad move to buy an ice cream cake for only yourself to celebrate a bonus at work? Absolutely not, Holly. Treat yourself. You should 100% get one. I absolutely would <laughs> if I was in that situation. And the Pixel 6 is basically an all-around upgrade. But then again, it is a couple hundred dollars more. Once again, though, Hasifa. Or Shili, sorry. Treat yourself. <laughs> if you can afford it and you want it, then go for it. Okay, nothing else there. On water source. What's this? It looks like something smashed the fluorescent lights. They're shattered beyond repair. Hmm. I really don't remember seeing water anywhere. <laughs> nice, Holly. Nice. I'll give you that encouragement. I, I, I could be a terrible influence, though. I feel like I got my stuff together, and then I do stuff like that. But no, there's nothing wrong with that at all. The broken window is letting in piercingly cold wind. We saw that before. Down here. The floor tiles have peeled off, leaving bare concrete. That's not going to help us. Come on, come on, come on. We're back in this room. So there was the plant. There's the salt. I don't remember any water. Up there it says, does the roof have a leak? The ceiling looks stained in places. I wonder if I can use the bottle again. If it has a leak, can we do something to, like, open up that leak? No, can't use that. What about our letter opener? Anything I can use here? No, <laughs> I try to use everything. Hmm, and no water here either. Of course. Alright, back we go. You know what? Maybe I didn't try enough opening this door. The fire door is rusted, shut, and won't move. You'd think fire door, there's got to be water behind there, right? So let's try a few of our items. Can we use a letter opener to, like, jimmy it open? Nope. 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 Trying everything. <laughs> okay, that's not the solution. Sometimes if you, like, look at something twice, you'll get more information. Let's go upstairs. Back here. There was no water, though. 
And I'm only pretty sure I need to get water in this bottle and then pour it on those plants in the basement, but I don't know for sure. I could be missing something else. Is there anything I can use here? I am totally brute forcing this, just seeing if anything registers. We saw all that before. Run your finger down it. Nothing happens. Hmm. When they specifically said don't put your handprints on there, that made me think that if I touched it, something bad might happen. I'm sure the snakes are still there, but maybe something's changed. Nope, nothing's changed. Back down we go. You nailed it. You got it, Relentless. <laughs> this is not the first time and it's not the last time. I have to brute force some of these puzzles. Well, what could I be missing? Hmm, anything from this angle? It's the same room, but we're on the other side. Up there, the ceiling is filthy and the fluorescent lights are broken. Nothing I could do there. Maybe there's something outside. I actually can't use my flashlight to explore this area. Um, can I just use this directly? Nope. Okay, I don't think it's in the mansion. I think we're missing something else. I'm gonna try to get out of here. Go back to the mansion. Am I supposed to talk to somebody? Aha, this is new. I can sense a strong power emanating from the marks of the others. Their amnesia has rapidly progressed. Yes, it has. Their fated death by the mark is drawing closer. At this rate, they too will lose their lives at this very dawn. Lord Cadia, I forgot about that. You are the last beacon of hope. Please locate the key. Well, I have a key. Do you want this key? Let's see, where was it? School key ring? No, can't use that. There was one locked room. I think I tried using my key there when I was in the hallway, but it didn't seem to let me do anything. Let's see, there's no items I can use here. So my guess is that room was just like Silent Hill <laughs> when you have locked rooms and they're just broken. You're never supposed to be able to get in there. I suppose you could also take a different partner, but I really don't want to. I don't trust that guy at all. There's not much else I can do here, is there? Okay, let's go back to that locked door. <laughs> yeah, right, Michael? I wish I could brute my... I would. I would absolutely brute force my way through those snakes, given the option. Oh, really? Windows Explorer uses up a lot of RAM? That's really weird. Oh, you just mean Explorer EXE, like the thing that kind of controls everything, not the File Explorer? Hmm. Yeah. Might be good to reset that before you start games, uh, Sheely, if it gives you some more memory. I wish it marked these rooms so I know which one. Okay, this is the locked one. Perfect. Okay. What the hell was that? Was that because I just tried to open up the door? It's moments like these. I just wonder, have I ever played a game before? <laughs> what are you doing with your life, John? <laughs> it's like, I, I get to the locked door. It told me it was locked. I had the key on. I think I had the key on me at the time. So what I did is I went into my inventory. I tried to use the key. Nothing happened. I'm like, okay, it's not for that. No, John, you just have to do it again. A second time, I think I actually used the key. All right. All right, game. Touche. Touche. <laughs> And let's see, Sheely, it goes from using a whole gig to 45 megabytes. Dang, I wonder why it's not clearing its memory. That sounds like a memory leak. That's no good. All right, let's check out this room. Thank you. He's just messing with us. 
He doesn't even want to hurt us. He's just messing with us at this point. Got some more notes here. Research. An umbrella that withstands a typhoon. <laughs> what? When you open an umbrella in a typhoon, it will break because the wind's too strong. So first I try to put holes in the umbrella. That way it wouldn't break in a strong wind. Note. When using it, put a plastic sheet on it to transform it into an extra strong umbrella. The strengthened umbrella protects from thorns or branches blown by the wind. Okay, that's very specific. I think we're going to need that for a puzzle too. Grab it. The paper is falling apart. I doubt anyone would care if we tore it off and took it with us. Except for maybe the creepy kid. Yoink! And what is this other one? Plan to strengthen weeds. Why the hell would you want to make weeds any stronger? Plants grow in sunlight, so I used a mirror to see what would happen under lots of light. Result, when I put lots of light on it, the leaves turned white and it got sick. What I learned, shining too much light on plants is bad for them too. Okay, so it didn't actually strengthen weeds, just wrecked them. We'll take that too, why not? Let's see, it happens whenever you leave a game open and it goes into sleep mode. Oh, that might be it, Sheely. You know, I saw somebody complaining about um, the Steam Deck because they jump between the Steam Deck and their computer. And they were saying, oh, every time I log into my Steam Deck, I have to like log in each time. And it's because you leave games running on your desktop when you're going to play your Steam Deck. And I guess they leave games running all the time, multiple games. And I'm just thinking, why the hell would you do that? I don't know. I never leave my PC games running when I'm not playing them. Like, yeah, if I take a short break, like five, ten minutes, whatever, yeah, I'll leave it running. But I don't leave it, like, running all day. I don't know. Maybe some people do that. Oh, saving. Good good idea, Jumi. <laughs> We've done quite a bit here. We're about to get some uh, water, it looks like, here, too. It looks like a uh, uh, fish tank or something. But let's go ahead. Let's see, where is that menu? Here we go. Up there. Where's the save button? Search. Is it under record? There we go. Maybe not record, it's record. <laughs> I'll keep a running for save so we can always go back a little bit if we need to. <laughs> Kano didn't say what type of weeds. Mm. And uh, you just leave to go do something real quick, and then your mom makes me start on something. Why? Oh, that makes sense. You get sidetracked with something else, Sheila. You weren't planning on leaving it running. But yeah, some people, I guess, leave games running all day. That doesn't make sense to me if you're not playing it. And multiple games? Like, that just makes your computer run slow. There's a chalk case attached to the blackboard. The aluminum chalk case has dents all over it, as if something hit it. Can we grab it? Something's inside the chalk case. Maybe chalk. Found a worn out talisman. Of course. That was my second guess. When I pick up the ward talisman, I feel warmth flow through me. Boom. Getting that soul power. Okay. What else? Oh, something here. It's an abandoned desk. It's a desk like you'd find at any school. What's surprising is it doesn't look very weathered. Guess that goes to show how durable school desks are. Uh, can we open it up? I stick my hand inside and feel around. Something pokes my finger. I grab it and pull it out. A wire umbrella. Hey, we got some stuff to make an umbrella, maybe, like we read about. <clears throat> but what's this doing here? I have an idea. This umbrella might have been part of the display for that independent research we found earlier. Hmm? Still, though, what's the point? I shrug and stuff it in my bag. I see the nicely folded dark plastic sheet among the garbage. So we put that on the umbrella. <clears throat> Their blood denies him. Another thing the spirit told us. Without conscious thought, I start speaking. Blood denies him. Does that mean to repel with blood? I pop open the wire umbrella. 
Then I spread out the plastic sheet over it. Huh. Just like it said in the research paper, you can create something like an umbrella. But it's not fastened on. It'd be impossible to carry it around like this. So we'll have to hold it together to use it? Thankfully, there are two of us here. One person to open the umbrella first, and one person to spread the sheet. If we manage a combo like that, then we can use the bloodstained sheet as an umbrella. Sorry to make you wait. Sure. Sukasa gives a vague reply. I'm sure this will come in handy. I feel like everything is here for a reason. New info was added to the spirit file. Bloodstained umbrella. <laughs> right? Now we're going to have to dodge some giant boss in a second, Kano. I'm so bad at dodging in Elden Ring, but I also have like a lot of armor and a shield and stuff. I'm not a very fast class. Um, oops, I did not mean to leave. Let's get back in there. Okay. okay, was there anything else to look at before the obvious? It's got a notification on Steam. You guys can't see it, but Andy is currently playing some Stardew Valley. One of her favorite games. An aquarium covered in moss. Look at it. This glass is terribly stained, making it impossible to see inside. Let's feel it. I hesitantly stick my hand in the tank. Ew. When I do, my fingers touch something cold. There's some water left inside. That's what I thought. There's enough water left inside that I could scoop it up if I had a container. So, tool... And we'll go down to a bottle of salt. I take the bottle of salt and put it in the tank. It gurgles as it fills with water. Nice, got the salt water. The mark is dyed a deep crimson. Is this game time-based or is this happening when I accomplish tasks? <laughs> I'm stressed out that I'm going too slow. Sunrise, a few minutes left until death closes in. Oh crap, what was that noise? A loud noise suddenly rings out. Ugh. A terrible pain runs through my wrist. It feels like something biting into my bone. Tsukasa? Hey, are you listening? Yes, of course. Huh. At least he's still replying to me. He hasn't forgotten how to speak. But the way he's acting is... We can't keep going like this. Move, come on. My shout rings through the building. New info was added to the spirit file last stand. And let's see, Shilly, you're not too big of a fan of Stardew Valley. You much prefer Minecraft and Terraria. Way more like progression and like battling and stuff, huh, Shilly? And he definitely prefers like the more, you know, farming, collecting aspects of the game. When I was playing with her, we did play multiplayer. I just went to the mines every single day and collected stuff and got as far as I could into the mines. Okay, I think we are ready to go to that creepy room with all the vines, right? Okay, that's good, Jumi. I was stressed because it seems like it was almost happening in real time. I thought it said like 30 minutes till dawn. And it just said like a few minutes. I was like, wait a second, was that actually like 20 minutes? The instant I step into the hallway, a strange, indescribable feeling hits me. Like a solid presence is closing in on me from deep within the darkness. <gasps> we saw that rabbit before, didn't we? A rabbit appears out of nowhere. Then it runs down the hallway. I thought that was it, but it stops part way. It turns back as if to see what I'm doing. Wait, wait up. I grab Suka... Sukasa's wrist and chase after it. We chase after the rabbit and arrive at the eastern staircase. We quickly climb up the stairs and stand in front of the mirror. Where did... I look around for the creature. Did the snakes get it up there? Just then, red drops of something fall from above. It's scarlet rose petals. 
I slowly raise my eyes up to the ceiling. Oh god. Oh, look at that creepy face at the top, too. The instant that I see that, I let out a groan. It's heavily weighted with both fear and relief. And Scooby-Doo, how's it going, Scooby? Welcome to the stream. You picked an interesting time to join us. Oh, there's like a shoe back there, too. I think there's more people than just that. Moe is up there, hanging from rose vines. Why didn't she, like, yell out or anything? Ha <laughs> ha, Miss Moe. So this is where you were. He points at her, strangely amused. But she's not the only one up there. There's a corpse hiding in the vines, too. It looks like that guard. Suddenly, the vines snap like the weight is too much, and Moe crashes painfully to the ground. Eh, she was clothed. We're okay. <laughs> hey, hang in there. Eh. I quickly glance over her to make sure she's not hurt. Her mark is obvious. It's swollen, pulsing, and red like a large, dangerous-looking pomegranate. That's something I never thought I would say. A dangerous-looking pomegranate. What in the hell does that look like? <laughs> I love it. Let's see. And Sheila, you're more of the creative type, and building is both fun in Minecraft and Terraria. Yeah, you definitely have more options in that, right? And Michael. Speaking of Elden Ring, you took down a very difficult boss last night. His attack pattern was quite ruthless, and you're a hybrid mage and melee build. I should probably try out some magic, Michael, because I heard that's a lot easier than just going full melee in that game. <laughs> right, Kano? I heard magic is pretty o OP. I'll have to try it out. Oh, auto-tune, Sheely. Nice. Let me take a swig of my drink first. <laughs> so you know what they look like, Relentless. Bam. Okay. Five minutes of John being auto-tuned. Let me know, is it working properly? Hopefully it is. If he's just trying to do a Poison Ivy cosplay, it's all good. Okay, it looks like it's progressed a lot further than the mark on my wrist, so she's about to die, I guess. It is working sweet, thank you. I see, so this is why... Did she get desperate and come to the school to try and do something? She didn't have much time left, apparently. So, you didn't run away. In any case, I need to get some clothes on her. Do you? Yeah, you do. You should. I take the jacket out of her bag and slide her arm into a sleeve. She's still pretty out of it, but she manages to get the rest on by herself. So was she captured like that, or was the, uh, the plant thing just really, really horny? Huh. Oh, it's you, mister. Why? The mark's progression must be affecting her just like Tsukasa. Her memory's gone too. I doubt anything will make any sense to her. And besides, right now... He's here. Anahiko knows. I know. But what should I do? What am I supposed to do? The blood umbrella thing, right? There's nowhere to hide. I look at Moe and Tsukasa. Their eyes are unfocused. We'll die here. We'll all die here. I'm the only one who might have a chance of overturning that fate. Gaining the key and lifting the grudge is the only way to survive. You will be required to be callous to make use of the spirit's fears. The way to repel the spirit lies within its grudge. Mary's words echo in my head. I open my bag and look through everything I picked up throughout the school. Is one of these the key? That all looks like junk. Garbage is all I have. Hanahiko. When I first saw him in the mirror, he was just a monster. But now I feel like I know why he came to be. I'll just have to face him. Believe that I have the final key. Believe. Trust in myself. Oh, partner. Uh, I think Sukasa's probably a little bit less foregone, and we already talked to Sukasa about the blood uh, umbrella, so that makes like the most sense, I think. Ooh, 
that would be an interesting twist, wouldn't it, Kano? Okay, now let's choose Tsukasa. I grab them, shake their shoulders, and yell. Get it together. There's nowhere to hide. We have to go. Come with me. Anahiko. Tsukasa makes a vague sound, but that's good enough. We're going to release him from his curse. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, it's behind us. <laughs> oh, God. What's wrong with him? Hanahiko is staring at Tsukasa. Look at that big giant eye. Is that an eye growing out the side of its head? Oh, it's creepy. Hey, they aren't a grown up. Fine. Only big people die, okay? A sound like slithering vines comes from Hanahiko's direction. The next thing I know, a small object grazes my face. He's gonna get us of those rose bushes. Are the vines? <laughs> Missed. You won't be so lucky next time. I get the feeling honey he goes planning to attack me from the distance. How many arms or does he have, or is it broken into pieces? It's super creepy looking. I need to do something to reach him from this far away. Facing a spirit. Oh, this is new. To defeat a spirit, you must use the right item at the right time. Both you and your partner can use one item each. Oh, I'm so dead. Choose according to the situation. Boss battle, item usage limit. Some items are limited use, so please take care. Oh crap, I missed one. Can I go back? Yeah, I hit start. Look at the log. What did it say? There we go. I meant to say that. So some items are limited use. Check the number to the right. Also, some spears cannot be used when facing the spear. That's how I wanted to read. And Cheek Clapper. Welcome, Cheek Clapper. How's it going, dude? We're about to get killed by a ghost. Combo actions. When facing a spirit, two items can be used together. This is a combo action. It is executed if you and your partner use the right items. Strategy hint. You can read the spirit file or item descriptions at any time. Open your bag by using Y. Y. <laughs> Let's use that real fast. I don't think time's moving right now. We got some time. So what two items are we going to combine to take care of this ghost? The only thing I remember is the wire umbrella. The umbrella found in the multi-purpose room. Only the wires are left. The steel wires are heavy but durable. Plus... Um plastic sheet, right? A thick plastic sheet found in H Elementary's underground room. It's so stained with dry blood that it's impossible to tell what the original color was. And it said, like, blood will, like, stop it or something. So I think we need to combine those two items. How do I do so? Do I not do it in this room? If we look at Hanahiko's information, it even says here, yeah. The wire umbrella used for the student's research and the plastic sheet dyed black from the corpse's blood. Let's see. Was it, well, there was like a hint, I think, about Hanahiko about that specifically, though. Where's like... Well, maybe it doesn't show up. There used to be like yellow words highlighted that would tell you like the clues, but I don't see that right now. Scanning this to see if I can find it. Ten minutes? Oh no! Oh, you need the Warriors versus Nuggets? <clears throat> Total points to go under 245? Dang! Oh, good luck! How much uh, do you have on that, Cheek Clapper, if you don't mind saying? And remember all of the notes and vague hints, and remember you know him now and want to, to relieve him of his pain. Else you gotta do it again. Oof. Here it is. This is what it says. Their blood denies him. This is the clue. That's the umbrella thing. And if they're attacking us from a distance, that umbrella should, like, protect us, right? I think that's what we're supposed to do. Okay, so... Do I do it here? Um, oh, I'm choosing it here. Okay. Uh, wire. Umbrella. 
and then open umbrella, and then what? And then he, our buddy, is going to plastic sheet. Let's begin our turn. This is cool. It's like a turn-based RPG almost. <laughs> Now, the saltwater hearts is going to be good for the plants, but I don't know if we need it for the ghost. I put the plastic sheet over the wire umbrella. I ready the cobbled together, uh, the cobbled together umbrella. This should be able to block the thorns. What the heck is that? That umbrella is in my way. His cold voice rings out, sounding slightly angry. Hanahiko shoots a rose thorn. The thorns fire fast as bullets, but only bounce off the bloodstained sheet. That is true, though. Yeah, maybe it would affect him because he is like part plant, isn't he? And blood denies him. So that's what it meant. The impact of the thorns causes the sheet to start to fall off the umbrella. Crap! If we don't put it back on, we won't be able to protect ourselves. Oh, it's getting closer. Oh, that's so creepy. Hanehiko sways closer, as if the umbrella is irritating him. We might be able to do something if he comes a little closer. How to weaken spirits. To defeat a spirit, you must use a specific item to weaken them. It can't be used until a spirit is as close as possible. When that happens, the screen outline will grow red. Endure the spirit's attacks until they are in range. So it's not glowing red yet. So I think we need to do that one more time. So wire umbrella, plastic sheet, begin turn. We put it over the umbrella. Hanahiko shoots out rose thorns. I think we blocked it. <laughs> it's too close for comfort. Okay, it looks like it's highlighted red a little bit. I don't know if it gets any closer than that. Um, I still can't throw salt water. It's too far away. Never mind. We're going to do this one more time. Uh, wire umbrella. Plastic sheet. Ha! Huh, blocked it. Oh, man. It looks so cool. Hanihiko comes up close. Countless vines wriggle in his body-shaped head. They're like poisonous snakes about to strike their prey. Hey, speaking of snakes. At this distance, the umbrella's pretty useless. It's obvious I'll be killed instantly if I don't do anything. This close distance is my only chance. Should I use an attack against spirits or an attack against plants? Oh. I have no idea what my attack against spirits might be. We have that mirror, but I don't know that that would help. Is there a way I can fight back? I think it's going to be the water. Um, salt water. Let's try it. It's a one-time use. Oh, what can he do? Crap, I don't know what he's going to do. Um, <laughs> Letter opener, stab him. We have to help the spirit, man? I want to kill the spirit. <laughs> we do have this hand me. I don't know if this is going to help. Let's check our bag again. What was the deal with the mirror? Um, on a Hiko. We have to check the, the spirit's information again. Let's scan this, see if there's anything. Okay, so blood denies him. So we're not... So this isn't even so much like attacking. This is more like Undertale, where you try to be friends with them, I guess. Because it says the spirit likes to dress up in skirts. Let's see, does it say anything else about that? Maybe a skirt and the mirror to show Hanahiko in a skirt?
And then it also says here, we heard a whisper when we looked at the kid in the mirror, purify with red. I know he also likes kids, he doesn't like adults. He probably likes bunnies. I think all I know is the uh, the dress thing. Do we have a dress? We have girl slippers? Maybe that? Put on slippers. No. Can I back up? Maybe I don't want to do salt water. Maybe lipstick and slippers? That would be the big, best combination to kind of dress them up as a girl. Oh, so salt water is correct. Purifying would be easing that evil. Oh, so we could do two things. We could use lipstick as well as the girl's slippers. As something that it likes, you know? So maybe we do a combination. Let's see, and hearts. It could be a corrupted spirit. Maybe we have to do an exorcism. <laughs> the power of Christ compels you. So by that token, Jumi, I think it's a combination of salt water to like damage or purify the spirit. And then I'm going to say... Girl, that says put on slippers. I don't know if the kid's going to put on the slippers or if it's going to put slippers on the monster. Lipstick just says use lipstick. That might put it on the monster. Either one of those might work. We don't have any others that I think would help. Although, if they're already dressed up as a girl, then we can use the mirror um, to show itself, you know? So he does like red, purify with red. Okay, I'm gonna go with lipstick. There's a, we also have a red pen, but I'm gonna say lipstick. Okay, let's try this out. Still learning how these battles work. Kadia throws, <laughs> they just call me Kadia. Kadia throws the salt water on Honey Hiko. The vine hit with the salt water quickly stops moving. In the hazy darkness, I can see Hanahiko's face twisting in pain. How mean. Are you going to tease me now, too, mister? He starts sniffling, as if he's about to cry. He looks weakened. How to defeat spirits? Defeat a weakened spirit by using specific items. Okay, good. I was thinking I had to use two items in a combo to, like, attack. But it seems like it's a separate stage to... Defeat them after they're weakened. Choose an item based on the info you've gathered. You only have one chance. Think carefully. Okay, so we took out the lipstick. Did that do anything? I put the lipstick on Hanehiko's lips. What did you do? Hanehiko is weakened. Okay, now we can do more stuff. So now I think if they're weakened, I don't think we can use a salt water again. Um, we have zero uses in that. It's going to be lipstick and girl slippers, right? We want to dress dress them up. Or did we actually use lipstick? Maybe girl slippers and a mirror? I don't know. It's weird. It seemed like we actually did use lipstick, but I'm not sure if that worked or not. Because it was like part of the previous turn before they were weakened. I'm going to go with slippers, slippers and mirror. I'm going to assume the lipstick was actually used, even though I can't tell from that right there. Put on slippers and round hand mirror. Fingers crossed. Dang it. I think I put on the girl's slippers myself. It wasn't effective. <laughs> Sukasa points the round mirror at Hanigo. I turn the hand mirror towards him to make him look at the lipstick. He stares at his reflection. Oh, I think we might have got it. But it did keep the lipstick. This stuff. Red stuff. <laughs> how it seemed, right? Realize how you like this? And puts on girl's slippers. I've been looking for this for so long. 
My keepsake from my mom. Are these memories from when he was alive? He smiles with his red lips. Am I pretty? I mean, a beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so somebody for everybody. <laughs> the spirit melts into the darkness with a smile on his face. <laughs> I was really worried on that last step. I don't sense Hanahiko anymore. We, we won, didn't we? Yeah. Kind of hard to believe, but it looks like we did. Mister, look. My mark disappeared. Oh, nice. Lucky you. Tsukasa excitedly flashes his left hand at me. It's true. The mark is gone. What about yours? Oh, yeah. My right hand. It's still there. <laughs> I figured as much. It's still there. My mark looks exactly the same as before. Why? Why isn't it going away? I guess that's not the spirit that's attached to us or something. Sorry, mister. It's almost dawn. Am I going to die? I bet we bought ourselves more time, potentially. Ah, I found you. I started feeling better all of a sudden, and then my mark was gone. You too? How come everyone's getting their mark gone? <laughs> Sheely, yeah, whatever you say, champ. <laughs> You're looking good. <laughs> If we put the... I, I do think we just kind of let the spirit pass on to the next world, right, Hearts? That's what it kind of feels like. So, you beat him, right? Yes. But his mark hasn't vanished. Well, let's head back to the mansion. Mary might know just the thing to do. I hope so. Yeah, you're right. Let's go, mister. Tsukasa leads me away. Huh? Tsukasa is feeling his pants pocket. I don't have my house key. Did I drop it somewhere earlier? His glance back at the school is troubled. But there's no time for that now. After all, you could die. Well, thank you for thinking of me, <laughs> considering you're saved. Go on. Huh? Just make sure you're back in five minutes. We're not going to go with this kid? Yeah, go in the creepy haunted place all by yourself. I'm sure there's nothing else evil there. Certainly not, you know, an entire hallway full of snakes. Go. Get moving. Okay, I understand. Tsukasa runs back into the school. <laughs> I know, st stupid kid. Come on. What do you need your house key right the second for? Come on. At least wait for daytime. Jeez, you don't know we're in a big hurry. I like her stressed out face with that, like, you know, one eye open, one eye shut. Tsukasa shrinks into the distance until they disappear inside the building. I, I don't know, Hearts. Maybe all those plants will just die out or something, perhaps. It seems like they're all tied to the spirit. A bitingly cold wind whips past me. It's coming from the school. That's not normal. Especially for the start of summer. The wind dies down, and out of nowhere, I get a really bad feeling. Bye, Tsukasa. <laughs> See you never. Should I have left Tsukasa to go back inside? No! No, you should not have. Five minutes pass. Tsukasa isn't back yet. What's Tsukasa doing in there? We better check. I step inside and go down the right hallway. I make it all the way in front of the room where we fought Hanahiko, but... I don't see Tsukasa anywhere. Strange. This should be the place. <laughs> it's all bad, right? Relentless. Everything about this is bad. Us going back in. Us sending them. Mister? Oh, good. The hell were you doing, kid? Don't scare me like that. 
I nearly blew my safety whistle. What are you doing here? You're late, so I came looking for you. Oh, I'm very sorry about that. It's dark, so it took more time. If only you'd let me that flashlight, then we wouldn't have this problem. <laughs> we just sent him in the dark by himself. He seems sorry enough, but man, he's as impudent as ever. I'm so relieved. A huge weight lifts off my shoulders when I see he's okay. Come on, come on, let's go. We all climb into the car and head straight to Cujo Mansion. With all this driving around, man, gas prices the way they are. Jeez, hope one of these people are loaded. <laughs> there you go. Don't be telling us about the flashlight. You're the stupid that lost the key. Come on. All right, what does the creepy doll have to tell us? Oh, this shady guy. You're safe. My marks vanished like it never was. So things must have gone well, huh? Glad to see you found Moe, too. You're frowning. What's wrong? Well... His mark hasn't gone away. What did you say? Why you gotta look so pissed, dude? <laughs> yeah, we haven't seen him since the end of the last stream. Hey, what's going on? Um, mister? We'll tell Mr. Mishida about everything. Please go see Mary. The creepy doll. <laughs> <laughs> I love that intro, the uh, uh, greeting. Welcome back, Lord Cadia. It appears that you overcame your fear and cleared away the grudge. Congratulations are in order. Her tone is the same as always, but for some reason it grates on me. What's so great about it? Why hasn't my mark vanished? It is likely the one who gave it was not Hanihiko. Oh, different spirits can give this curse, huh? I'm suddenly lightheaded, the world fading. I'd risk my life during that investigation, and it was completely useless to me. I guess all that's left is waiting for dawn and my death. <laughs> I really should. I'm sure that would go over great, Relentless. I don't think there'd be any resistance at all. <laughs> Whenever new people come into the stream, I gotta be like, hey, welcome to the channel. You can refer to me as Lord Cadia. <laughs> Lord Cadia. I <laughs> love it. If it is all right with you, would you mind showing me your mark? There it is, just as hellish as ever. I hold my arm out toward Mary. Her neck shifts slightly as she stares at the mark. It is as I thought. It is only a minuscule fraction, but the fate I sense from this mark has been distorted. What does that mean? Is it because I beat Hanahiko? The flame of your life was indeed fading at one point, but it has now become brighter. Are you saying I'm not going excuse me, I'm not going to die at dawn? That is correct. My sigh of relief is so deep, it fills my soul like my soul is escaping my body. The mark still burned on me, but it seems I'll be okay. For now. It appears the mark you bear is different from the ones I know of. But there is no doubt that it was given to you by a spirit. Then... There are other spirits like Hanahiko that give people marks? Yes. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, God. The hell is that? Let's go back to Hanihiko. Um, spirits born of grudges have an insatiable hatred for the living. This persistent hatred is not sated by simply killing the living. Rather, they drag their victims to the depths of despair before their death. That is what they desire. A mark is an effective method. Spirits who wish to terrorize the living. The more I hear, the less I understand. It appears something within H-City can easily create such spirits. 
though I could not say what it is. So for me to escape my mark, I need to find the spirit that gave it to me and take care of it then. Yes, it is logical to believe the mark will disappear with the spirit. That is the only way to escape death and regain your memories. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. I love it. I mean, I wouldn't have caught that Relentless, but I love it when the names of things have much deeper meanings based on the origin of the names, like Anna being flower. That's perfect. It will soon be dawn. I am sure that you are all tired. Please rest. You are free to use any room. Thank you so much. Seriously. If you hadn't been there, I probably would have been killed by Hanahiko. But when I think about you still having your mark, it's hard to be happy. Well, I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm going to sleep like a baby. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> yeah, not at all, right, Michael? That's great. You want to see that right before going to bed. You did great work today. You're much more competent than all the other adults I know. Though it only makes sense for adults to help children. Oh my gosh. Which one do I have? Planet Platinum, welcome Raiders to John Cadia. How are you doing, Platinum? How was your stream? How was Dark Souls? How many times did you die? <laughs> I, I die a lot in those games. Although you quickly learn to not do that because you lose so much, so much time, so much experience. It's, it's painful to die in those games. It makes you very cautious in doing so. And you're doing great. Oh, that's awesome. Me too. This is my Friday. I don't have work tomorrow, so I'm excited to be able to stream late tonight. Actually, pretty soon here, I'm going to go grab a coffee and then we'll resume playing for another few hours. And... Uh, a lot when you got to the Drake cave. Oh no, that does not sound fun. Or how far are you into the game? Are you a decent chunk or are you just starting out? Where are you at? I haven't played it, so I wouldn't know places or things, but like, I guess percentage wise, how far do you think you might be? And you're looking for the rest of the night? Don't die, John. Oh, Hasifa, I will try. I make no promises. We'll probably have a death counter pretty soon. But thank you so much for lurking. I really appreciate that, dude. And you have a wonderful evening. Okay. So, it will be challenging from now on. My schoolwork has suffered due to my memory loss. I need to study hard to catch up. You need to do your best, too. Well then, good night. And then there's the shady guy we don't trust. I'm thinking of heading off myself. With that mess of trouble taken care of, I'm sure I'll crash right away. Oh, right, here, have this. He pulls a small paper item from his beat-up coat and hands it to me. It looks like a newspaper article. It's about that boy that died. Before he was adopted, he'd lived with his mother. She understood her son, unlike his hard-headed adoptive father. She'd put makeup on him in front of a mirror. She very much doted on him. After all, that hell at a young age, then dying, that was probably his only good memory. All that poor kid. Mashita's smile is sad. Well, it's up to you to know how to interpret it. Do whatever you want. See ya. Let's see, very decent chunk. Oh, maybe halfway through. That's fantastic, Platinum. I do want to go back and play Dark Souls sometimes. I'm working on Elden Ring right now, but uh, I did beat Demon Souls on the PS3 and Bloodborne on the PS4. And Relentless, there's a fun fact about the word Hana. The Japanese word for fireworks is Hanabi, which translates to fire flower. That is super pretty, I really like that name. And yeah, they do sometimes when there's a bunch of them look like a bouquet of flowers kind of, huh? Lord Kadia, there is something I must tell only you about those who lost their marks. They must leave in the morning. I'm losing my teammates. Those who escape their fate should return to their daily lives. That is the will of Lady Saya. So, I'll be the only one left behind? I feel like a student repeating a grade. <laughs> Lord Cadia, by any chance, are you uneasy about being the solo occupant in this mansion? 
Hey, you're here. I like that answer. That one's cool. I must express my extreme gratitude that you hold me in such regard. Although the things I am capable of are rather limited. Mary stares unblinkingly at me. I could just be extrapolating it, but it seems like she's thinking about something. Now then, Lord Cadia, it would be for the best that you take your rest as well. Please find me when you are ready. Farewell. Let's see, and you've gotten pretty through everything, the Dark Garden and all the undead parish, but now you're at Blighttown. What are you playing on, Platinum? I've always heard Blighttown generally had like the worst performance of like the entire game. People would say the frame rate tanks, it just doesn't play well. But if you're on PC or something, it might play just fine. And you were doing good until the game didn't tell me my transient curse was over. Oh, you are doing on PC? Okay, you might not have any problems then, nice. Are you playing the original or the remastered version? Because I bet the remastered version just works better than that. That's probably it. I bet only the original version maybe has Blight Town problems. All right, I think we're good here. Let's go ahead and save it. I've only saved once this whole stream. Um, oh, I think it keeps rolling them down. Okay, I'm gonna put it on here. There we go. Nice, okay. So this is probably as good of a place as any to take a quick break or grab my coffee and let you guys play some mini games and murder each other. So to do that, let me go ahead and mute this. Oops, I always said the wrong thing. Volume mixer, that's right. It's kind of a pain sometimes to mute the games. There we go. So I can have another game running and you can do that. <laughs> we love murdering our friends. It's a classic pastime here at John Cadia. All right. Oh, it's so weird looking because this game runs at a lower resolution than my monitor. Everything, even Steam, looks like blown up and bizarre. Um, where is stream? I wonder if there's any other games that I could... Uh, easily run for you guys that can be played while I'm not active, you know, like repeat games automatically. That'd be great. Oh, there's an update to this game. I don't think Stream Animals has a, had an update recently. <laughs> yeah, except in this game, where under no circumstances are you allowed to let your friends die. So Jumi, in this game, if anybody dies, is it just like immediately game over, I'm guessing? Or do you get to continue and just get like a bad ending or something? Let us uh, swap this. Should pop up in just a moment. Oh, you got to go, Platinum? Oh, thank you again so much for the raid. I hope you have an awesome night. Thank you again. I appreciate that. Okay, battle mode it is. Alrighty, guys. It is time. So to join in this game, it's super easy. Just go ahead and type exclamation point join in the chat or exclamation point J. You can also type in the name of any of these animals and that will also let you join and pick a specific animal to look like. And then it's super easy. If you're like me and you're doing other stuff in the background, just go ahead and type exclamation point auto and then it'll play itself and you still have a chance to win. But if you want to actively control your character, just keep watching whatever pops up on this section of the screen. It'll tell you what you need to do during that turn, whether it's attacking players or um, moving around the map or voting on different disasters, that kind of thing. It's super easy. The Jumi, it's one of those games where you are locked out of a chapter if you get any of the bad endings. Oh no. So. Do you get all the way to the end of the game when you get a bad ending or does it more or less like just not let you do much? Oh, Michael, be sure you join first. Uh, exclamation point J in the chat. Yeah, does it um, just not let you um, get to the very end of the game? Like do you get a premature ending or do you get all the way to the end and you get a bad ending? Because I mean, I may just get a bad ending. It happens sometimes, but if it's like super premature, you want to go further and see the rest of the game, I guess. Alrighty guys, I will be right back. Good luck everybody, I'll see you in just a bit.
We having some one-on-one -on -one battles, Relentless? <laughs> it's a 50-50 chance to get a token. <laughs> Let's see here. <clears throat> oh, and I love that. For once, John doesn't win. You got that one. Nice, Relentless. Scrolling back up in the chat. <clears throat> and hearts, you're going to get some sleep. You're probably long gone. But hearts, hope you have a great night. Hopefully we see you again on Saturday. Let's see here. And Jumi, you say you can get to the end of the game with some bad endings. Three outcomes for every boss battle. Um, you game over. Uh, your friend goes back for the keys and dies. Or everyone lives in tortured spirit is at peace. Now, if you mess up and die elsewhere, which is uh, why it's good to save. That makes sense. So you is it pretty obvious, do you think, Jimmy, when you know you're done messed up, you should go back? Or is it something you only realize late into the game, I guess? Also, I'm using a new mug that Andy got me for Christmas. Um, let me show you this. That work on there? Thing's called a an ember mug, and you see there's like a little light on the bottom of it that's flashing. Essentially, this thing keeps your drink warm for hours, and it's really cool. <laughs> I've only started using it recently because I wanted to rewire some stuff in our kitchen so I could have it wired all the time and look nice, and um, it works great. It works really good. And uh, so this coffee, I don't have to like try to drink it fast to get it while it's hot. It'll stay hot for the rest of the stream. It's so cool. And I love my teas and coffees like really hot. Oh no! Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Relentless. I had to get you back. You got me last time. So if I look at, let's see here. The leaderboard. You actually got two wins today. Nice. And for all time, oh, you took first place again, Relentless, 21 to 20. <laughs> Me too. It's whenever I try to give myself tokens, it has a sassy comeback. How about you don't do that? I've always loved that. And Jumi, if your pal dies after you kill the boss, that's the bad ending. You got to keep your friends alive and it'll be obvious and probably gruesome. Okay, good, good. We'll know when we have to roll back. Nice. <laughs> Good job, Relentless. But yeah, this mug is really nice. Um, the only thing is it's not dishwasher safe. Obviously, there's a lot of electronics on it, so you got to hand wash it. And um, it lasts for probably two hours uh, or so, maybe two to three hours at like max heat. If you need it to last longer than that, then you just have to get another coaster. Basically, it's like a dock that it charges in. It looks like a coaster. So you'd have to get another one of those wherever you're going to be drinking it. And then it'll last all day. But uh when it's away from the charger, like our chargers in the kitchen, it'll be good for the rest of the stream at least. Super handy. Usually I don't drink coffee more than three hours for one cup. All right. Unmute the game. Jump back in here. Perfect. Okay, we're good to go. We're good to go back to sleep. That's so funny. Our character is going to go to sleep. I'm going to have some coffee. <laughs> the polar opposite. So what do I do? Exit. It's nearly dawn. I better get some rest. Use talk to continue to the next chapter. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought that. Why would I think talk goes to bed? And Jumi, as far as you can remember, this game doesn't pull any Sierra point-and-click rudeness. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. Sierra point-and-click rudeness. Where you don't sniff a flower at the beginning of the game and you're uh, soft-locked at the end. <laughs> and the Ken Williams gift. <laughs> Whose channel has that? <laughs> I love it. That's a really good one. Macaw, Ken Angry. <laughs> okay, let's go to bed. Are you retiring to bed? You just told me to. Uh, I don't think we have anything to do. Yeah, let's go to bed. Good night. Oh, why am I using the mouse? I was playing this with the controller. Chapter 1, End. We did it. So it's going to be daylight now, a lot less creepy. Another night greets me. What the hell? Did we sleep through the entire day? <laughs> I don't think I could even do that if I tried, even if I went to bed just as the sun was coming up. I couldn't sleep until the next nightfall. You hear that banging around? What's that? It's been three days since the investigation. We've been here for three days? 
and not one glimmer of hope for me. Time idles by as death draws ever closer to claim me. Okay, that's terrifying. The mark that brings death. The only way to escape it is to defeat the spirit that gave it to me. But I have no clue where that spirit is right now. Maybe things would be different if that specialist, Sayakujo, was alive. Oh, he's knocking on the door. So at three days, everybody's gone, right? Like, I think they had to leave the next day. Otherwise, it was bad news for them. Why are you still here? You were supposed to leave. How long are you planning on sleeping? You're pretty relaxed for a guy who could die soon. The ex-detective, Saturo Mashita. The other mark bearers left the mansion, but he stayed behind. <laughs> no, Michael, I don't think we slept for three days, but I think three days have passed and we've been looking and trying to figure it out, but our character has found nothing. That's kind of what I gathered from that. Mary was the cause. I guess she asked him to help as he was leaving. Interesting. The doll told him to stay. She went against Sayakujo's wishes by doing that, but it seems it was for my sake. But I don't know about Mashita. Even if he was asked to stay, he has no reason to agree. That's very true. What's that look? Not happy I stayed behind? I'd prefer Moe. You know, just saying, throwing it out there. Let's, let's be nice. Be cool. I'm grateful. Cut that out. It's creepy. Flatter me all you want, but I won't forget you drove without a license. <laughs> oh no. I'm cursed and gonna die. I don't want to break any traffic rules. He's got a bad mouth, as usual. And you're a detective. You're not like a regular cop. What do you care? Um, his true intentions aside, I have to say I'm honestly grateful for his help. Yeah, exactly. My amnesia could hit without warning, so I can't go wherever I want, or whenever I want. He's been going around gathering information in my place. I saw some people from the force. Still no ruckus over H Elementary. But wait a second. That guard went missing. His company should be notified. That company is exactly the issue. It's run by Yakuza thugs who have their eyes on the labor department. They don't want the police involved. Plus, in a shitty company like that, people walk up and or people up and walk out all the time. Yamashita, that was his name. Everyone thinks he up and split. That's why they're having a hard time finding a replacement. If you didn't know the school was haunted, it'd just be another abandoned building. The government wouldn't need to rush to find a new guard. The man lived alone, so a missing persons report won't be filed soon. The school most likely won't come under suspicion until then. That's it for my report. Took you three days to do that? Really? He covered a lot of ground in a short time. <laughs> <laughs> the exact opposite of what I just said. Um, Ex-detectives sure are handy. Yeah, good job. Good job there, buddy. 72 hours, he asked a question. <laughs> Found out that everyone thinks he's just gone. Did you bring up the mark or spirits when you were asking around? Do you think I'm an idiot? They'd be calling me the loony bin. Even if the kids or I did bring it up, Who'd honestly believe us? What? Why waste my breath? Exasperated, he shrugs. Searching the mansion was on you. So, did you find anything? I came up blank as well. Though, I've only gone through half so far. And some of the rooms were locked. Stuck without a warrant. Like you'd wait for something like that. I don't know. If he gets upset about driving without a license, maybe he would be that anal about those kind of things. I swallow the words before they come out. 
and Samoan Girl, how are you doing? Great to see you. I hadn't either. Actually, Jumi requested this game, and I'm really enjoying it so far. It's a visual novel horror game, and you're constantly stressed out when you get in tense situations because you can get killed. So it's good stuff. How you doing, Samoan Girl? Oh yeah, Mary's asking for you. You should go get you should get going. I love how everyone's just like, yeah, this talking doll is just, just part of our life. <laughs> Not even questioning the demonicness behind it. I have been waiting for you. Mary is sitting primly on the couch, the same as always. <laughs> right, Michael? Apparently our character thought he was doing great work. That doesn't seem like a lot for three days to me personally. It appears you are having a difficult time with your investigation. I do wish I could be more used to you. I know you can sense mark bearers. Can you sense spirits too? If they were to come onto the grounds, I believe I could, yes. Can I just carry you around and you sense spirits? That doesn't sound particularly useful. Do you have any other abilities or powers? Like you breathe fire, shoot lasers? Indeed. I can view the vague shape of the course of a person's fate. Oh yeah, it kind of like could tell when we were gonna die, essentially. Like predicting the future? Oh no, nothing quite so extreme. It is more akin to fortune telling. <laughs> you mean predicting the future? <laughs> it may or may not come to pass. Okay, so potential future. Okay, there's the, there's the difference. Relentless knows a little bit about that. I get it. That's why you predicted earlier, or what you predicted earlier, didn't actually happen. Did Mary tell you something? The truth you're seeking can be found here, or some such. Like a fool, I fell for it. So convinced. I'm such an idiot. A loud knock sounds at the door. I wonder if it's our friends back. <laughs> Probably not. A visitor in the dead of night? A mark bearer? I bet it's somebody new. I open the door and the visitor strides in. It's a shitty looking young man in a uniform delinquents tend to wear these days. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. Me personally, that doesn't look super shady. He just looks like a kid. <laughs> Got a cool jacket. He smirks at me, clearly feeling superior. Or maybe he's a jerk. This place, Kuju Mansion? I got business with some Seiya chick. No way you're her, huh? He narrows his eyes, staring suspiciously. Isn't that literally a school uniform? Oh, is it? I don't know. I always, I guess I don't ever really pay attention to like, I don't remember what like the guy's school uniform would typically look like. I guess it's just like a, button-up shirt with shorts or something, but you always know like that typical schoolgirl like Japanese uniform, which our friend was wearing, but uh, that looks nothing like that. Different school colors, maybe? I don't know. And <laughs> we'll say, I'm Seiya. Uh, turn to Mashita. I don't know what to tell this guy. This is, this is line. This is line. Let's do this one. Oh, no. Don't hand this off to me. I'm horrible with kids. They never dared put me in charge of Juvie. You guys know her, yeah? Don't care which one of you it is, but would you hear me out? Introductions are quickly done. His name is Shu Nagashima. Hope I'm saying this right. <laughs> and as we'd guessed, he's got a mark. He rolls up his right sleeve to show us, and yep, the red mark is burned in. Are one of these people going to have it like on their butt or something embarrassing? An occult freak friend said something. Like, it gives you amnesia, for real? Yeah, that's right. I can't even rem remember my real name. You're kind of calm for all that. I bet you're pulling a fast one on me. 
that grates, but that reaction's normal. But if he's not going to believe the rumors, then he had no reason to come. That's true. Why is he here then? Now let's see, Samoan, you are good. You should look up the letter. It's another visual novel and uh, Higurashi, When They Cry. It's stupid PS4. Oh, I see. The letter. I never heard of that one. I'll have to check that out. Is that also a horror kind of game or what's the style of it? And Shu should be more said like Sha. Okay, thank you, Sha. Perfect. And Hirugashi is really good. You've been playing that. And is that Hirugashi When They Cry? Is that like the whole name of the game? I haven't played very many visual novels, like three, I think. <laughs> Rumors are just that. Amnesia of dying because of some mark? That's comic book craziness. Every word of it is true. Was, was that a girl's voice? <laughs> it sounds pissed about a woman here. There is a saying, the truth is stranger than fiction. There are two sides of the same coin. Mary begins explaining. I really wish when they were, people were talking off screen, because I can tell who's talking based on the color of the text, if it's me or them. But sometimes people talk from off screen and it doesn't tell me who's actually saying it. I kind of wish it had a name or something to let me know. I'm sure she figured it would be the fastest way to convince him. Yeah, talking doll starts talking to you. That's going to convince you of anything. Anything's possible. Hmm, okay, I see. It's kind of like this game. People just call it Deathmark, but I think the full title of this game is Spirit Hunter Deathmark. Because there's another Spirit Hunter game. You've got some damn speaker set up somewhere, don't you? I don't take kindly to threats. He peers closely at Mary. Such a mechanism does not exist. Oh, no, that's her talking. See, like this. I have no idea who's talking. <laughs> Such a mechanism does not exist, Lord Shu. Sha, Sha, Lord Sha. <sighs> no way. <laughs> Did he just pass out? He yelps pathetically, his eyes wide, and suddenly falls flat on his ass. <laughs> It seems that despite appearances, this punk is terrified of ghosts and monsters. This tough act is likely a cover. After that, he meekly pays full attention to Mary as she speaks. And Shan, what's up, Shan? So there's this guy you've heard about who is apparently on this thing called Twitch named Joncadia. He sounds like a good dude. You should probably check him out. I don't got time for that, Shan. <laughs> How you doing, Shan? Great to see you. <laughs> right, Simone? Well, that just happened. He listens quietly, his face pale, as she tells him about the mark and spirits. By the time she finishes explaining, his face is devoid of color. Now, Lord Shah... Have you not already experienced the beginnings of memory loss? Yeah. I don't think he's used to Mary yet. His face is rather stiff. <laughs> if you're doing mobile or something as well, Shan, I totally understand. <laughs> My memory's always been crap, so I thought I was imagining things. But then it started getting so bad that it was just ridiculous. That's kind of how I would be. My memory sucks, so how would I know I'm having memory loss? I got this occult friend, yeah? I told him about my scar. The mark? And he scared the shit out of me. Showed me an article that said it was all that scar thing's fault. So now I'm here. Owe mentions seeing an article by Saya Kujo in the magazine, too. It's all because of some monster. The hell? This is crazy. Why'd this have to happen to me? Not believing it is normal. But if you don't, you'll die. If you don't want to kick the bucket, figure out how you got the mark. Even if your memory's gone bad, or gone, yeah, gone bad, you should at least remember that. 
<laughs> if she had on a full on keyboard, <laughs> then it's maybe not so much that you can't type, but that um, you didn't proofread. <laughs> you didn't proofread before pressing enter. And Samoan this coming from one who has seen a shadow person. You? Have you seen a shadow person? <laughs> I'm not that far gone, thanks. I'm positive I got it in the forest by H Castle. I know I did. I mean, it does have a rumor about the place being cursed, so... We should probably ask him more about it. So, forest? The huge forest west of the city. Wait, doesn't everyone know that? Even kids do. Memory loss. Remember? <laughs> no, I guess he wouldn't remember. <laughs> but I've lost my memory. Maybe that's why I don't know about it. The place is the city's garbage dump. Bunch of nasty rumors about it. There's illegal industrial waste dumping there, like, all the time. It's not just objects, either. They say a black car once dumped a young woman's body there. A new mother strangled her kid there because she couldn't take care of it. There's tons more rumors like that, whether or not any of them are true. I heard some of those too. Like the lost kid who was eaten by a dog and they only found his torso. Or that murderer hides out there and kills anyone who goes near. The two of them happily exchanged stories. Apparently, while he hates ghosts, He's more than fine with this kind of stuff. I've hit up the edge of the forest a few times, but never walked in. No one with half a brain goes there. What should I ask next? <laughs> oh, that's creepy, Simone girl. Yeah, I've never had any kind of weird, supernatural kind of experiences. So, I can't say I'm a believer. I can't ever rule anything out that something beyond exists that we can interpret or see, but I guess proof is in the pudding and I have not been able to see any proof yet. And unfortunately, apparently it doesn't show up on camera either. Otherwise, we all probably have proof, right? Oh, that's so creepy, Simone girl. How would you sleep there? <laughs> I wouldn't be able to sleep there anymore if I saw something like that. Okay, so the forest, it's cursed. Shu stiffens, or Shaw stiffens like a board. I hate that supernatural crap. Just talking about it freaks me out. What a wimp. Rumors exist for a reason. That place is the famous suicide spot. Fifty people die there a year, so they say, and that's just what they find. Once there was a mass suicide. It has its fair share of grisly history. That reminds me, I don't know what the actual name of it is, but isn't there like a, uh, some kind of suicide forest? I think it was in Japan. And I thought like one of the Paul brothers went there and filmed and got in a bunch of trouble on YouTube because they showed like a real life dead body that was hanging or something. Shaw's eyes are wide. He looks like he has swallowed a bug. I wonder if this is like referencing that forest. A real life one anyway. I don't know if there's just one or how it is over there. When I went on vacation to Japan, that was not one of the places we visited. <laughs> Obviously. What should I ask next? Why are you there? Or were you there? I was obviously on my bike, man. Place is totally empty at night, so it's perfect for driving around. Riding around free as a bird helps me clear my mind. Before you ask, yes, I have my license and no illegal mods. Is that so? We don't need another person flaunting the law. One is enough. Or flaunting the law? I don't think I've ever heard of that word, flaunting the law. Um, sure, it just means breaking the law. He's talking about us driving without a license. Chill out, dude. Chill out. And it's Aoki Gahara Forest is the one you're thinking about. Okay, okay. I don't know where that was in relation to where we were at, but <laughs> we had no intention of checking it out. It's, it's so funny. I love horror movies. I, the more grotesque and violent, the better. Violent action movies, super fun for me. I love special effects and seeing that kind of stuff. But seeing violence or a dead body or something in real life, can't handle it. 
Not a fan. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. And Samoan, you, you would use your mother's washroom and felt someone watching you. And you quit using her sink and went to the hall bathroom. Did you tell her about it? What does she think? I wonder if anyone else has like felt a presence there. And that's the English nickname, the Suicide Forest Relentless. Gains a reputation as one of the most used suicide sites. Because of this, signs at the head of the some trails urge suicidal visitors to think of their families and contact the Prevention Association. Good. Good, they should. Let's see. What are illegal mods? Like on a bike? <laughs> I don't know about a bike. But I mean, for cars, maybe it's the same. Illegal mods are things that, you know, make it so you can't pass smog become unstreet legal based on speed or general protection things, stuff like that. That day, I was clearing my head when my bike broke down. I stopped to check it out. Then suddenly, I've got the scar. I doubt we'll get any more out of Shaw. No info on the spirit, then. You'll have to... Or you haven't forgotten anything? No keeping secrets now. Quit strong-arming me. Hold your horses, I'm thinking. We're trying to help you. Come on. Oh my gosh. 105 in just one year. That is crazy. Holy cow. <laughs> What's going on here? What is going on here? Ouija 666. Welcome Raiders to John Cadia. How are you all doing? Thank you for joining the channel. Ouija, how was your stream, dude? And if you guys have not followed Ouija, be sure you click on that link and drop him a follow. You were playing some more Elden Ring. How did it go? Was this a successful Elden Ring run? Was this very painful with lots of death? How did it go, dude? And Lockhart Games, welcome back, Lockhart. Good to see you again. And Ramnar Zero Ouija Raid. Welcome, Ramnar. Let's see, and it was good. You did a bunch of running around trying to find stuff and killed many a boss. You know, that's one thing I'm really liking about the game too, Ouija, is how many bosses there are. I just go into like a random cave expecting to find an item. And I do find items, but I also get to fight a cool boss. And I'm really digging it. It's good stuff. But thank you again so much for the raid. I'm glad you're enjoying it. And you got a lot of good progress. I got tomorrow off. So I got two things I want to do. We have friends coming over, family actually, like around dinner time, I think. So I, I got to do my workout. But beyond that, I'll have a lot of free time. So I have some new light guns that I want to set up on my arcade. So I think I'm going to take some time and try that out. And then when I'm done with that and I play it for a bit, I want to get some more Elden Ring in because I haven't played it recently. But I can't wait. And sometimes a boss is just a regular enemy. Feels like it, right? But when I consider like a boss, Usually a boss is the music has changed and there's a life bar at the bottom of the screen. To me, that's like a proper boss, I guess. <laughs> if they don't have a life bar, it's just a regular enemy for me. And Becca Doodles, how's it going? Welcome. And Weege had a good time and he's nine follows away from 400. That is amazing. Congratulations, Weege. Yeah, be sure click on that link up there for the shout out and drop him a follow if you haven't. Help him out, help him get closer to 400. That's great. Congrats, dude. That is awesome. Glad that you are making some good progress on Twitch. That's always so good to see. And that you're enjoying Elden Ring, of course. So everybody joining, of course, welcome again. My name's John. This is John Cadia. We play a lot of weird, interesting, sometimes spooky single player games. And we're currently playing a visual novel horror game called uh, Deathmark. And basically the premise of this game is we have this strange, looks like a bite mark tattoo thing on our arm. And it means we're cursed. And we're going to die very soon. Unless we can find the spirit that cursed us and get rid of it, we're going to die. And uh, we found a spirit earlier, but he wasn't the one that cursed us. We helped some of our friends out, and they left us. <laughs> but everyone that comes to this mansion has this curse. And you just have to find your spirit and basically exercise them in a way. So that's what we're trying to do right now. It's good stuff. Welcome, everybody. This is the new guy that just came into the mansion, so he's also cursed. We're trying to find out more of his story. He's complaining, but I can see he really is combing through his memories. That's another thing. Once you get this curse, you start to lose your memories very quickly. 
there was something. It wasn't a ghost or nothing, but I did spot something weird. Over by the side of the road, I saw this huge man. A, a giant? <laughs> it wasn't just some tree's shadow? Honestly, I'm not real sure. The place was pretty dark, and I only saw it for a second. It sounds pretty iffy. Is that info really reliable? I mean, he is losing his memory. May I interject? In truth, there are a number of supernatural rumors set there. One happens to corroborate Lord Shah's story. The rumor of Shimijo or Shimio. It's going to be the next spirit we have to deal with, I guess. And uh, Michael, actually, you fought a very tough enemy later in the game that felt like a boss in Elden Ring, but you won't spoil anything, though. You know, there was one time, Michael, you guys have probably already run, run into this, but I was running towards some really large circular building. I couldn't find a way in there, but as I was going towards the entrance, um, some red spirit came after me and started to attack me. I thought it was a player because it looked like he moved a little bit like a player and he was highlighted like I was being invaded in the other From Software games. But I think it was the computer. I think it was like a set thing that was supposed to happen, but I really thought I was fighting a player for a while. I managed to take him out, but it was stressful. And Samoan girl Catherine Full Body is about cheaters who have to solve puzzles after going to sleep. I love that game, Catherine. Or Catherine. I haven't played Full Body, but I did beat the original and it was such a good game. It was hard. I actually had a tough time with it. And you have to set it to offline because you're that kind of person. I don't think you need to in this game, Ouija. I believe in Elden Ring, you can't be invaded by invaders unless you want to be. Because the thing I ran into, I think it happens if you're online or offline. But players cannot invade you anytime they want. I think you actually have to use an item that basically says, come get some. And then they can invade you. So, same as like bringing a friend into your game. It's kind of similar, but unlike some of the other games, I don't think you can just get randomly invaded for PvP because that is very stressful. So I like it on sometimes the, you know, the hints on the floor are useful. Oftentimes they're just trolling you, but it's just kind of nice to have. All right, well, we got a name of the spirit we have to find. It sounds like Mary has an idea. Could you tell us more about it? <laughs> yep, that's the one. You see it everywhere. Of course, Lord Cadia. All right, let's hear about this ghost. I shall tell you the story of Shimmy O. That was weird. It went really quick. I didn't get to press anything. Oh. This is terrifying. Is this going to be bug related? This sounds like a big insect. Hey. Have you heard the rumor? The one about the weird giant man? He's covered in black splotches. So people call him Shimio, the spotted man of the forest. I heard he asks everyone he meets a question. Maybe we should do a cool voice for this guy. Do you like bees? A college student heard the rumor, decided to go to the forest to see. And the man covered in splotches really did appear. Do you like bees? The student laughed. Yeah, sure, I like them. And then... Let's raise some, then. <laughs> In your body. Didn't like that. <laughs> What the hell was that? <laughs> yeah, where, where's Nate? <laughs> he likes bees. Maybe not those kind of bees. <laughs> and the Souls games do have NPC invasions, including Elden Ring. Which, I think, Michael, that happens regardless of you're online or offline, right? I would assume so. Okay, Shimio asks, uh, or Shimio asks those he meets a single question, then kills them using his drill. That was the noise we heard. Okay. That might be none other than the figure you saw, Lord Shaw. However, I have no proof. Then we'll have to gather evidence. Let's get ourselves to the forest. Investigations require legwork. There is no hesitation in Mashita. 
After facing Hanahiko, he knows full well what spirits are capable of. This guy didn't do sh**. He was back at the mansion, just chilling. I never took him out on the missions. He didn't do anything with Hanahiko. <laughs> what are you talking about? Is this his training and experience as a police detective? Hey now, you serious? Going there in the middle of the night? You guys have totally lost it. Let's see. And you had to see how much Catherine full body was on PS4? Hopefully it's cheap now. Maybe there's a good sale going or something, Samoan. I bought it when it first came out for Andy, my wife, because she loves it. So she did play through full body. I think she completed it. I'm not sure. She played it a bunch. By the way, coffee, still hot in this open mug from like an hour ago. Okay, we have to question. Um, are you scared? What'd you say? I ain't no scaredy cat. Hey, old man, take me with you instead of him. If that huge guy is really some monster, I'll pound him to dust. He's easy to manipulate. <laughs> nice. Nobody calls me chicken. What's that from? And there is a sale, but you need to talk to your husband about it. Hey, good thing there's a sale. That's a good, uh, good opener for convincing him for you guys to get it. Hope you can. That would be great. It's such a good game. <laughs> yeah, after he faced Hanahiko. Asterisk, stayed behind and did nothing. You've settled on a destination. Please head to the forest by H Castle when you are ready. Your first goal is to identify the spirit that bestowed the mark. Best wishes for your investigation. What's the price of it when it's on sale, Samoan? I actually have Catherine on PS3, full body on PS4, and I also have Catherine Classic on PC, which I think is the same as the P P uh, PS3 version, but like better graphics and stuff. New chapter item changes. Hmm? All items obtained within a chapter are removed at the end. That's really cool. So I'm not going to have all this crap from the previous chapter I don't need anymore. I love that. A lot of times these adventure games give you so much inventory stuff. You start to second guess, like, oh, do I need this here? Do I need that there? Just get rid of it if it's no longer needed. If a character brings an item, it will be added at the start. And new chapter soul power. It will return to 1,000. Dang it! <laughs> I had collected a lot of soul power. Now it's all gone. Okay, maybe before we leave, let's talk one more time. What Lord Shaw saw in the forest? It may be none other than Shimio. You should confirm our suspicions. Oh, Mashita's mark is gone now. Can all of us go, or is that still bad? Going all together is dangerous. It has not been that long since Lord Mashita's mark vanished. The remnants of the curse still linger. Spirits may detect it, as they are sensitive to such things. Please continue to only bring along one person as you have been doing. Okay, so, I don't know, the gamer in me wants to bring the new guy. Mostly because he actually just got cursed by this thing, so he seems like he'd be the most useful. But maybe we should change it up. Maybe we should take the uh, detective guy. What do you guys think? Who, who should our partner be? Oh, that's not too bad at all. 17 bucks? That was like a full, I think, $60 game when it came out, Simone. That's a nice sale. You're right, Michael. Sure, Shaw. You'll pound him into dust. A ghost. Pound into dust. Good thinking. Okay, so yeah, which guy do you think we should have as our partner? The detective who we thought was shady, but he, he's kind of growing on me a little bit? Or this new kid, Shaw, who uh, we don't really know much about, except he's scared of ghosts, which might be a liability. I don't know. I'm kind of leaning towards the ex-detective. He seems, he seems like he's actually been helping us. Maybe there'll be some twists later, but I like him so far. All right, let's take him. Confirm. Oh, we're already partnering with him. Perfect. Okay, it is time to 
exit. Wait, we should look at our bag first. What do we have? A baseball bat? This is the bat that Shaw had. It's covered in scratches and dents. It's seen a lot of use even off the baseball field. Only Shaw can use it. Ooh. I guess we're taking Shaw. Why the hell would I go there and not be able to use this item? That seems useless. I bet this is going to be very useful. We also have a baseball, a worn baseball that Shaw had in his pocket. It may be scratched, but the ball itself has been polished white. It's obviously well maintained. And you, you, you thought Mashita, that's what I thought first. But man, now if I can't use the baseball bat, if I don't take him for this chapter, I feel like he would be very necessary for this chapter. And Relentless, did you like our new friend? Uh, you like the delinquent type characters, but on the other hand, we haven't seen much of Mashita. I feel bad. Mashita just gets pushed off to the side, right? Oh, that makes sense, Simone. You got some other stuff going on? Totally understand. Yeah, I know. I got to, uh, with prices of everything going up, it's time to rethink our finances, too. It's just crazy out there, right? Although, luckily, I don't drive a whole lot. Unless I go out of town for something fun, my commute to work and back isn't too bad. I only do it three times a week. So, uh, sometimes four days, but usually three days a week. Uh, what about you guys? Do you guys have to drive a whole bunch? And I wonder how much the expanding gas prices are going to nail you. Um, let's keep Mashita. Let's try it out. Why not? Why not? Let's see how it works. Let's save it before we do that, though. I feel like... How's it doing this? I think I always do the first one because it's like a rolling thing. And exit. We're going to the forest. Are we once again driving without a license? With the guy that got mad at us for that? Mashita sits in the passenger seat and makes no attempt at conversation. The first time he was in the car, I found I was cautious of his every movement. But now I feel strangely relaxed around him. I guess humans aren't actually scared of others, just the parts of other people that they don't know. You know, I just thought of this. Even though Mashita can't use the baseball bat, we can probably go back to the mansion if we do need it for some reason and swap characters. So maybe it's not that big of a deal. It's fascinating stuff. What are you grinning at? It's pretty creepy. Oh, sorry. Though, I'll admit, I don't really understand him. He's self-righteous to a fault, yet he stayed behind at the mansion for me. I told you my reason earlier. I won't say it again. I haven't said a word. May as well have. It's written all over your face. He's really sharp. People who are adept at obscuring their intentions would be good at reading other people's minds. If I could just add one thing, it's probably wise to have someone along who doesn't have the mark. You tend to lose your cool when you're being targeted. Then nothing will ever get solved. I see. Uh, kind of makes sense, I guess. Hey, that's nice. Are you, are you in a big city or something, Samoan? That will totally help that. I mean, honestly, those prices are going to go up too, of course. The bus prices, I'm sure, with gas prices going up. But it won't be as astronomical as if you had to drive, like, you know, 45 minutes to and from work every single day. Like, I don't know. That would be an obnoxious price hike on your normal life. It would suck. Oh, that sounds great, Michael. Honestly, if you do that, you probably only have to fill up every few weeks, huh? I can usually go two weeks without getting gas, which is pretty good. My car doesn't get amazing mileage, but it's not bad. It's fine. That makes a certain amount of sense. When I remember the final moments at H Elementary, my hands start to sweat. There's no proof I'll be able to remain calm during the next crisis. Oh, it's a medium-sized city? Hey, as long as they got good public transportation, that's great. I'm definitely grateful for your help, but... If we encounter a spirit again, we'll need someone to overcome that crisis. So that's his reason for coming along? I guess that's just the kind of people detectives are. Huh? 
We love searching for things, sniffing every nook and cranny to uncover that which is hidden. That's our one skill. <laughs> Mashita's dry laugh fills the car. I don't love the guy, but I don't, I'm not as worried about him as I was when we first met him. We arrive at the forest by H. Castle. I stop the car near where Shaw says he saw the man, and we enter the forest. All the guideposts on the field are faded, their paint peeling off. <laughs> what is he, a wolf? I think he's just a dude, <laughs> but we don't know too much about him. It looks hardly traversed, just as Shaw and Mashita said. Looks like a nice park. Although at night, of course, it's ten times creepier. You know, speaking of Japan parks and creepy, one place Andy wanted to go when we were in Japan is, uh, I want to say it was in the city, is it called Nauru? It's been so long. But we went to like a deer park and... It's just a park filled with deer. They're everywhere. But you go there during the day, and it's real pretty, and they're just wandering around chilling, and you can feed them and stuff, and they're super friendly because they're used to seeing humans, which is probably not the best thing for the deer. But it is what it is. We, <laughs> we were on our way. They were walking. We weren't too far away. But we got sidetracked doing some gambling. We went into a pachinko parlor, had a good old time. I still don't understand pachinko, but it was fun. It was fun. And then when we finally get out of there, probably got something to eat. We get to the park. By the time we get to the park, it's dark. It's like, this is like in September. So it was getting dark a little bit earlier. And um, it was pitch dark by the time we got there. Nobody else there but us. It's an open park. You don't pay to get in or anything. You just wander in. And there was deer, but they were scary as hell. These things are huge. And as we're walking around, we see signs that show people getting like, attacked <laughs> has warnings like don't stare directly at the deer if the deer comes for you play dead or had like some other things and it's all like little pictures i can't read the japanese like I, I take my phone and i try to translate it but you can tell what they're trying to tell you from the pictures of people getting kicked in the head and bit and stuff so we're just like already on edge so we're wandering through this park and you see like huddles of them because it was a little cooler at night so they're kind of like wrapped around each other to stay warm but every once in a while, one of them would just get up all of a sudden. And whether the lights shine in their eyes or whatever it is, it just you see these beady, glowing eyes staring at you. And I'm just like, babe, we're going to die here. We're going to get killed by cute deer. So let's keep moving. It was, it was an interesting experience. You know, I have some pictures of it. I'll have to take some of those pictures and post them in the Discord. It was, it was, it was an experience, for sure. And you've seen it, and you're not allowed to pet them. I bet people do Samoan. I didn't pet them because it was scary as hell, but I bet during the day when they're feeding them, I bet people pet them, even though you're not allowed to, you know? Okay, so we walk a while until we come to a large arch making the start of the hiking trail. It's rusted over with the peeling paint it doesn't seem to have been touched up. The letters have faded and are mostly illegible. I don't think so, Samoan. Uh, I bet these deer are used to being hand fed by humans. So they're just there for the treats. You take an animal like that, and when you start feeding it and stuff, they totally change their behavior. Unfortunately, because that makes them less likely to be able to protect themselves in the wild. Carefully reading it, it says Welcome to the. Why is the M? Highlighted. That's kind of weird. Welcome to the lush and romantic a M U R wood timberland. <laughs> I see what you did there. Did you guys catch what those letters spelled? The just the highlighted letters. It's spelled murder. Awesome. Let's go check this place out. That was funny. Oh, good. They figured it out, too. Murder, huh? I'm sure Mashita heard me, but I guess they're completely ignoring me. Hmm. More overgrown than I thought. There's a lot of ground we have to cover. Let's get a move on. 
we pass under the arch and enter the forest. Let's look around first. It's a wooden table and benches. The weather-beaten table and benches are clearly damaged and rotting in places. <laughs> yeah, we love a good murder forest. <laughs> uh, can we touch it? I peek underneath the table and find something stuck there. I found a worn-out talisman. Yes, gotta get that, uh, what was it called? That score thing we have up? Because they reset it for this chapter. Soul power, that's it. Soul power. Yeah, turn around, right, Michael? That's what any sane person would do. Okay, any more of those? What's over here? It's a wooden trash container. I don't think it's been used in a long time. There's no garbage littered around either. Yeah, and at night they might feel like, oh, that's true. Because I, I shouldn't have been there at night. So they might have thought like, what's this guy doing? He doesn't have any food. <laughs> they don't trust me at all. I feel around inside the container. We're checking the trash can. But nothing's inside. Okay, what else is highlighted? Oh, something on the sign. It reads, Welcome to the lush and romantic Wood Timberland. A.K.A. Murder. I don't see anything else to look at, so let's go inside. We continue down the path a short while before we come across something unexpected. It's a grave marker. It was probably put there to honor those who commit suicide here. Might not be a bad idea to say a quick prayer for those who ended their suffering that way. It's the grave marker placed to honor suicide victims. Something's written in magic marker. <laughs> Wait. Now, I usually think magic marker is just like a black marker, but I think magic marker is also sometimes uh, used to describe those like hidden message markers where you can write something on paper and nobody can see it until you highlight it or change it a different color and then all of a sudden it shows up. Let's see. And you've heard strange happenings at night. Especially here, Samoan. <laughs> oh, in Japan, specifically. Based on their movies, I bet a lot of them have seen some weird stuff at night. They have some crazy imagination when it comes to horror. I love it. Oh. Say the opposite of the truth. You'll be followed. Okay, so how John interprets that is if I lie meaning the opposite of the truth. I'll be followed. That's bad. So that means always tell the truth. Whatever they ask me, even if it's a bad answer, I should probably say it. They want to hear the truth. Seriously relentless. And I love how every culture kind of has their own stories and just like different vibe to everything. It's so, so interesting. Huh. Okay. This certainly feels like a place that's famous for suicides. Just off to the side, I notice a faint trail. Discover the entrance to the Beast Trail. A Beast Trail, huh? We'll need to look down there, too. I wasn't done looking over there. The moonlight doesn't reach the Beast Trail uh, that branches off the hiking trail, so we're in gloom. The trees are thick on both sides. We'll get lost if I didn't have a flashlight. Good thing we have one. Ah, the last sip of this coffee is still hot. And it's been well over an hour now. And weird judge, you need a spirit to follow you around to go kill some really evil person. We will use the spirits to fight the other spirits, huh, judge? So the only thing with these like electronic mugs, now that it's done, I can still see it's like on. I don't need it to heat anymore because I drank all the coffee. So I just kind of, there's like a button. See on the bottom right there? See if that's in focus. You just uh, watch the light, press that for a couple seconds. And once the light fades, then it's off. Easy as pie. And I got to remember to plug it back on the, put it back on the coaster, essentially to charge it. So it's, ready for me in the morning, but I really like it. Okay, just then. 
There are footsteps close by from the bushes. Uh-oh. Rut row. Mashita stops with me in his arm. Someone's here. Dun 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 dun. I hear footsteps again. They seem to be getting closer. Yeah, so it doesn't have energy for two cups. Well, Judge, from my experience, it seems like the charge lasts at full uh, uh, maximum temperature about two to three hours. So I guess it depends on how fast you drink. How many cups of coffee can you drink in three hours? That's about how many cups you could use it for. Then... What? Who's this guy? A disheveled looking businessman? A man appears from the bushes. He looks horribly exhausted and relentless. Things like horror stories are always mirrors of what the people are afraid of. Not just that we are scared of ghosts so we tell ghost stories, but they also show that we're afraid of as a society. That's true. A lot of their, from my understanding in like Japanese horror, is a lot of times when a person leads such a difficult, kind of tormented life, they often become this vengeful spirit, which then enacts revenge on those that did them wrong, as well as anybody else that crosses their path, because they seem to haunt a specific place a lot of the time. And Samoan, depending on the country, uh, on if they feel in danger in the forest and city or in the country. Um, you mean like, depending on the country, that's where you'll kind of find spirits and stuff like that? And judge, that's a challenge. <laughs> Never having drank for more than a single cup of coffee, my guess is that I can get the coffee cold. 100%. But will you never drink more than a single cup of coffee? How long would it take you, Judge? <laughs> At least in this mug. If it takes you over three hours, yeah, it would eventually get cold. But that's uh, plenty of time for most people. Of course, um, what I would probably do is, uh, if I wanted it to stay hot even longer, I would just buy another coaster, which is just like a charger, and have it in my office as well. So I have one in the kitchen, one in the office, so if I'm here working all day and I want to keep it warm for a long time, I just keep it docked. So it's always at full charge. And Michael, that electronic coffee mug you're using, uh, can you set it for cold drinks too? Specifically for hot drinks. It doesn't have to be coffee, hot cocoa, tea, whatever you like hot, but um, it uh, does not do cold. Like, I'm using this right now. This is a hydro flask. I got water in here. I throw a few ice cubes in here, fill it with water, and it's cold all day long. It's wonderful. Of course, it does take me an extra step every time I drink. I got to, I'm struggling doing it right now with one hand. I got to like, you know, move the spout off so I can actually drink. Close it back up again so it stays cold. So what's kind of neat about this mug is that it's just always open. <laughs> I don't have to worry about adjusting it every time I want to take a sip. It's really cool. Look up Ember Mug on Amazon or Best Buy or anything like that. You can check it out. They have different sizes, too. Here I am selling shit again. <laughs> That's true. You could just keep it off for cold drinks. But in that case, I would just use a different mug or glass or something. And Buckbeak. Welcome, Buckbeak. How you doing, dude? And based on their cultural beliefs, some countries are spiritually aware. I'd say in America, that's... We're not super spiritually well. Of course, some people believe, but I don't think it's like super widespread where there's like a, some common beliefs. Not really. Mostly just like some fun urban legends and that's about it. All right, let's check this guy out. Don't startle me like that. You shouldn't stand around in the dark. What are you doing? The man falls silent. I think he realized he already knows the answer. Mashita did say this place is a famous spot for suicide. I just... I can't do it anymore. I work myself to the bone at a job I don't even want. And you just bring another man home? How dare you? The nerve. Oh, he's talking about his wife cheating on him? He holds his head in his hands. He suddenly starts kicking a tree and yelling. A rapid stream of swear words flows out of his mouth. He seems to be the type that goes crazy when he's upset. 
Oh my gosh, that's a creepy looking face on him. Hey, could you tell me how much nerve do you have to do that, huh? Stop him. Death invites him. I have to keep him alive, huh? I don't even know this guy. I hear that voice again. Stop him. Does that mean I should dissuade him? If you've got something to say, just spit it out, you bastard. Dude, calm down. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Relentless. Oh, I gotta answer this quick. No chat for a moment. Okay, gotta dissuade him. Calm him down, silently listen, sympathize. Uh, let's sympathize. But I love how you said that. He seems to be the type that goes crazy when he's upset. So he's a he's a dude. He's a man. Gotcha. Nailed it. He has definitely gone bonkers crazy. And Buckbeat, you're doing all right? You just got done playing Mass Effect 3? You didn't really do anything other than visit people in the Citadel, trying to delay the end of the journey as long as possible. Luckily, there's so much you can do there, right, Buckbeak? There's a lot of extra stuff in those games. Speedy! What's up, Speedy? Welcome. Yes, I don't have work tomorrow, so I get to stay up a little bit later tonight. Got another hour or so to stream. <laughs> you say you understand? What bullshit are you trying to pull, huh? I think I only made it worse. Oh, crap. He didn't like that. Uh, uh, um... Wrong. Crap, that's the first one I've ever gotten wrong. Is it game over? Or do I get to pick another one? Uh, what did she think I was doing? Or doing wrong? Worked myself sick, but stuck with it anyway. And for whose sake? I even bought her a purse on our anniversary last year. Damn it. Damn it. Then she goes and sees another man? The man's curses... The man curses the darkness. He's completely lost it. I should probably avoid any tactless interjections or flattery. Hey, you there. Was it me? What did you think? Clear this up for me. Did I do something wrong? I don't even know who you are! Did I do something wrong? No. It's not you, it's them. How about that? Yeah. That's right. I just... I did my best. Damn it. Damn it all. <laughs> I can hear the anguish in his voice as he yells. Oh, crap. I have almost no soul power. That was also wrong. Oh, crap. I don't know what to pick, guys. I'm sure she'd just laugh if she heard I was dead. Hanging off her asshole lover. <sighs> but when I think about it... You know it's strange. Why do I have to make her happy when it causes me such pain? It's ridiculous. I'm done with it. No way I'm gonna die for an idiot like that. That's right. I'm sure I can still... The man looks down at his feet, then glances up at me. We could still start over fresh, right? Yes. Sure. Oh my gosh, I'm almost out of time. Uh, I told you, I'm done with that. Seriously, give me a break. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> this game over. Maybe you can't help this guy. This might be rigged. Everyone's always looking down on me. I'm not going to do what you want. <laughs> the man runs off into the darkness, laughing. Well, crap. There might not have been anything I could do, but I might have effed that one up. Damn, this is bad. If he makes too much of a racket, that guy hiding in the forest will... Someone's here. Oh no, that's him. That was a hell of a laugh. Holy crap, or scream, jeez. Oh, that was very weird. And Michael, yeah, things just went in a second, right? And Buckbeak, uh, definitely including all the DLC. You have two DLCs left. And the one DLC you did helping uh, Aria. Oh, nice. I remember that was the blue alien woman, right? 
if I remember correctly. And we have no soul power. I think it's all over. And uh, and Judge Jay saved him by trying to persuade him to kill himself. That's not helping. I'm not helping, Judge. Okay, before I realize it, a huge figure looms up behind me. Yeah, I think I'm about to die. Oh, no, that was it. That was it. I done effed up. Um, let's decide again. Does that let me pick different options there? Okay, we should we should add this thing now. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, I just uh, you weren't supposed to lose there. I just effed up. Let me roll this uh, counter back. Oops, I'm going too much. It's gonna take too long doing it that way. Let me do it manually real quick. Give us the one death counter. That was our first time dying in this game. Might as well use the death counter, right? Let's see, reset, we go back to zero, and one. We've officially died once. <laughs> Although we got through chapter one without dying, that's cool. And Buckbeak, helping the Asari that ran Omega, and that was a really good DLC, but really took me two hours to beat it. That's a good sized chunk of DLC. Um, I haven't done any of the DLC in Mass Effect. I only ever played the base games. At least it wasn't rigged. Good effort figuring out if the game is rigged or your decisions actually matter, right? I like that. It makes it more exciting. Um, so I'm going to choose decide again. I think it's going to put me right where we left off when I was talking to that guy, I think. Let's try it. Yes, okay. So I'm going to skip the text until we get to where we were. The left bumper fast forwards. I really like that. So you can quickly get back to wherever you left off. It goes like super fast. I don't think he gave me any hints though. Besides that he doesn't want to be placated. We just got to be real with this guy. Oh, this fast forward feature is fantastic. Okay, so still have to stop him. So we should dissuade him. <laughs> so if you got something to say, spit it out. I don't know if we're going to do this right the second time. Yeah, no flattery. That's true. So last time I sympathized, let's uh, silently listen. Let's hear the man out. Sometimes you want to be listened. It would be bad if he went berserk here. I'll just have to hear him out. He may give us more hints on what would be useful to tell him. But it seems this man misinterprets my silence. Arrgh! Oh, do you feel the same way? Of course you do. You're here in this forest after all. Oh, wait, no, maybe that was good. I think that was good. Okay, good. I thought maybe I did bad. <sighs> what did she think I was doing? Worked myself sick, but stuck with it anyway. And for whose sake? Even I bought her a purse last year on our anniversary. Damn it, damn it. Then she goes and sees another man. The man curses the darkness. He's completely lost it. I should probably avoid any tactless interjections or flatter. I wonder how many I have to get correct. Like, can I miss some but still succeed? Hey, you there. Was it me? What'd you think? Clear this up for me. Did I do something wrong? I, I just gotta remember what I said before. So I don't accidentally do it again. I think I said no. Did I do something wrong? Someone's here. I don't know what this is. I'm going to try it. No was incorrect last time I did it. What? The man's gaze darts around nervously. Then he mutters quietly. C could it be that creepy guy? He checks around on full alert. Satisfied no one's there, he resumes speaking. Two for two, baby! <laughs> I, only t I only had to limit my chance to a 50-50 to get it correct. I'm sure she'd just laugh if she heard I was dead. Hanging off her asshole lover. <sighs> but when I think about it, you know, it's strange. Why do I have to make her happy when it causes me such pain? It's ridiculous. I'm done with it. No way I'm going to die for an idiot like that. That's right. I'm sure I can still... 
man looks down at his feet, then glances up at me. We could still start over fresh, right? Me? No, everybody, do, you know, you do you. But for me personally, if somebody ever cheated on me, like, that's it. I'm never going to trust you again in that way. Does it mean I hate you? No, not necessarily. I'm sure we could still, you know, be cordial around each other. But as far as, like, an intimate relationship, that's game over. Like, we're past that anyway. If somebody ever cheated on me, which has happened in the past. When he said start over, I wasn't sure he meant with her. I thought he just meant start over his life. I'm going to say if you work... I'm going to say it's impossible. I'm going to be real with him. I think he's talking about being with her again. I think it's impossible. But some people do. Yeah, I agree. I've lived this long. It's too late for me. Three for three. I'll, does, I'll die sometime soon, even if it's not tonight. I'll endure it until then. Good, we didn't bring that creepy drill guy to murder us. I don't know what you've been through, but you should rethink it. Honestly, though, you look like you'll be fine. His expression changes, as if he's remembered something. I saw a strange man while I was wandering around here. His body was covered with black splotches. You think he's sick? He kept staring at me. It was creepy. If you're heading back, be careful. A man covered in splotches. Mary brought up some rumors about a man like that. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. The name's Masao Kamura, if we ever meet again. The man scratches his head and smiles a bit. Let me buy you a drink or something. Well, see you. And you prefer Garrus? Garrus was so cool. I really like Garrus in that game. We don't talk long with Masao Kimura before he leaves. New info was added. Funny, he says we should gra grab a drink together. That was the most one of the most interesting things I saw about Japanese culture. Is during the day, everybody was super focused and just business, 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 rushing from here to there. Like, it was so bizarre walking around with my wife, we're holding hands, just being normal couple, and like nobody held hands anywhere there, even other seemingly couples, unless they're like really young, it seemed like. And everybody was like focused on where they were going. Nobody would ever even glance up at us. Like, you know how sometimes you walk by somebody and you just like kind of briefly catch each other's eyes and you keep on walking? None of that. Everybody was just like staring at the ground, focused on where they were going. And uh, business, business, just very fast. And uh, at nighttime, though, oh my gosh, did all the folks in Japan let loose. It was wild. Just like people stumbling around in the roads and like puking off into a corner. And I was like, where are we? Where, where do these people come from? But and they made a mess. Like there's no trash cans anywhere in Japan. So there was just trash all over the floor. It was a crazy mess in downtown when they were drinking. But Kind of like Disneyland, these little cleaning gremlins came out of nowhere and just cleaned everything up before the next morning. It was incredible. <laughs> yeah, right. How are you going to find me again, right, Judge? I'm never going to see that guy again. Although, because he told us his name, I'm sure we're going to see him again at some point. <laughs> Typical failure in society. He fits right in this forest. <laughs> that was rude. <laughs> The beast trail continues onward. Let's return to our investigation. All right. Uh, can we look around here? Yeah, let's look around here first. See if there's anything of interest. Or a dog. Don't see anything. Let's keep going forward. That was weird. How was that noise? And let's see. And if you go to a business meeting, they will talk before getting down to business. Oh, just chat with you for a little bit? Yeah, I was there on vacation, so I did no business meetings when I was in Japan. It was purely vacation. Oh, the light was on. I thought I saw something flash here. I wasn't sure if it was a face or not. It was so quick. I go to open the door, and my hand gets coated in a sticky liquid. It smells sweet. Is this honey? 
Why would there be honey on a doorknob? Because the guy likes bees. Mystified, I step inside the cottage. Oh, we should save it. I should have saved it before I came in here. A shadow falls over Mashita's face. It's the same for me. Something's felt off ever since we came inside. Why do I feel so strange? <laughs> yeah, three bears? <laughs> this porridge too hot, this one's too cold. And then Buckbeak. You also have Rex, Thane, and Grunt. You can sit here on and on, but I don't want to simply... Uh, because there's so many cool characters. It has something for everybody. They really do. All the characters are very unique, which is cool. Whatever your personality type, there's probably at least one character in that game you will connect with. I immediately realize why. Why we feel strange. It's too clean. Yeah, it's unnatural. It's like someone's been cleaning it. It doesn't look abandoned at all. It could be that someone's living here. But I don't bother voicing that thought. Someone might be stopping by here. <laughs> nope, not me. I'm running back. <laughs> if we're going to investigate, we better hurry. You're right. I immediately start shining my flashlight on places of interest. What do you think is in this bag? It's pretty big. That certainly is concerning. Let's take a look. Mashita carefully opens the bag but immediately loses its balance and topples to the floor. <laughs> Simone, I'm gone before I left. I half expected that to happen. It's a body. Oh, and she has those weird black marks all over her too. Well, that's cool. Every single ghost has like kind of a unique way of killing folks. That plant kid turned everyone into flowers. This one looks like you got a bunch of weird... I don't know, sores, festering sores on you. What rolls onto the corpse is, or on, what rolls onto the corpse, what rolls onto the floor is a corpse. A woman. What, what's with that? That body. Her body is drilled through with countless holes. Oh, those are drill marks. Okay, I was thinking maybe they were bee stings or something. A sharp cylindrical tool must have gouged them. Even Otter, her whole body appears to be covered in liquid. <laughs> That's kind of what I said, Relentless. A thick, sweet scent fills the air, strong enough to make you want to cough. Aw, oh, good night, Samoan girl. You get some good sleep. Thank you so much for dropping in. It's good to see you again. Yeah, I got about another hour before I'm going to call it quits. It's nice to have these late stream nights with y'all. Is this honey? What a fascinating corpse. This is intriguing. For some reason, Mashita appears to be extremely interested in it. Oh no. <laughs> is that Mashita's kink? We need to get out of here as soon as possible. Let's hurry and search the rest of the cottage. I agree. Let's put the corpse back. It's best not to disturb the scene. So just shut it back up in the bag? Of course. Preserving the crime scene is critical. It's all about unpleasant topics with this guy. But he's exactly right. Let's hurry and get this over with. <laughs> this is getting messed up. Sweating profusely, we managed to get the job done. We still need to search the rest of the cottage. Okay, now will the game let me save? Pretty please, with sugar on it. Let's see. Record, there we go. Okay, let's save it. I think. This one right here. There we go. Counselor Udina, oh, in um, Mass Effect? Yeah, nobody likes Udina. <laughs> nobody, Udina's mom doesn't like Udina. What's this? It's an old notebook. The cover says, Honey Bee Family Notes. Ah, uh, this is going to be some of our clues how to take down this ghost. Make Hive New Body. 
smear honey all over. That's messed up. Do you get what he's doing? This makes sense to me now. I was like, bees drill, what's the what's the correlation? He takes a dead body, or a live body, drills it full of these holes to make it a um, hive for more bees. He basically, instead of making the bees create their own hive, he creates it out of a corpse. That's awesome and gruesome. That's <laughs> disturbing. Ferment honey, get stinky liquid, drawn by smell, honeybee, enter hive. Enter corpse, in this case. That's messed up. Can we take the book? I try to hit take, but I don't think it works. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Now I can take it. Just in case we need it later. Notice I took it. The book's still there. <laughs> I just can't click on it a second time. How about this one? This one is more honeybee family notes. Honeybees are our friends. Make them um, amiable with medicine from sprayer. You mean get them high? <laughs> if they get mad, pay attention to the direction the hive is facing. Awakened honeybees leave the hive in the direction of the sun. Oh, interesting. I don't quite know how I'm going to use this information, but interesting just the same. I will take this one. There we go. And Holly, that reminds me of a Junji Ito story. Have you read any of the stories? I have not. Is that the guy that has a really cool, creepy black and white art style? I think I've seen the art in like uh, just pictures online. Are they mangas? And uh, uh, whatchamacallit? I've seen some shirts, and like Hot Topic or something that has, I think, his artwork. Really cool looking. Very disturbing body horror. I appreciate it. <laughs> I peek through a crack to see if anything's inside, but it seems to be empty. Okay, nothing in that little box. What if you check it a second time? Same thing. Toolbox. Ah, that is the one. He's got some really cool stuff. There's a there's a new PC game. I don't know if it's on anything else. I know it's on PC and Steam called World of Horror. And it's essentially like a very old school looking black and white horror adventure game. But I think all of the artwork it's just like that um, Junji Ito. It looks really neat. And I was thinking about streaming it, but apparently it's like really long, like 40, 50 hours or something ridiculous like that. So I thought, maybe not. But I am interested in checking it out. Okay, here's a metal toolbox. There's a thin layer of dust built up on the outside. No one has touched it for a long time. Apparently we're not going to touch it either. Oh, wait, maybe I can grab it. X to feel. It's locked. There's no way to open it. Oh, what do we have? We have a baseball bat. A baseball. Can we bat the thing? I take out the baseball bat. But what do I do with it? I don't have any particularly good ideas. You smash the toolbox open. That's what you do with it. Um, I don't have any other tools that would work. So we'll back up out of there. There's a light up here. I flip the switch at the base of the light bulb, but it doesn't turn on. Maybe it's broken. Bottles of drugs are all in the line. The labels say night night. <laughs> Here we go, night night. Most of the bottles are empty. Guess the guy has a hard time sleeping. Can we take one? I shake each one and luckily find one that still has some left inside. Hey, we got some night night. In case we ever need to go night night. Oh, there's a box down here too. I remove the lid and look inside, but all I find is dust. I think, I think that's it for this place. And yeah, he is seriously good at what he does, Relentless. And Holly, there's a story where mosquitoes take over a maternity ward and lay their eggs in women similar to this. Oh, gross. That's super gross. And Michael, you looked up the electronic coffee mug out of curiosity. It's $150. You don't drink coffee, so you wouldn't have any use for it. Well, not even coffee, though, Michael. Do you drink tea? Do you drink hot chocolate? I drink hot chocolate fairly often. I usually only have tea if I'm, like, sick or I have a sore throat or something. I like tea with honey. Um, but, yeah, any kind of hot drinks, it'll work totally fine. 
But if you have no need for it, no, it's definitely too expensive for that. It's it's definitely a fun luxury item, <laughs> but not cheap, not cheap at all. I think there is a one that's a bit cheaper, um, but it's a little bit smaller. This is the 14 ounce one. I probably wouldn't have bought this myself because of how pricey they are, but uh, Andy bought it for my birthday and I love it. It's great. And speaking of 50 hours, you crossed the 50 hours in Mass Effect 3. Nice, dude. That's great. I got um, I got like 12 hours in Elden Ring. That's the one I've been playing the most recently. Okay, I think we're ready to back up out of here. It's going to take me a long time to get to 100 hours in Elden Ring. Okay, open the door, left the cabin. And I think we already looked everywhere here. So let's go back. So what do we get? We got Night Night. And these notes, which I don't know exactly how those notes are going to help it yet. I can't go left and right. Let's keep going straight. I'm not sure how much time I originally put in the trilogy. I think I spent about 20 to 30 hours in each game when I first played them. So probably around 60 hours, 70 hours in the whole trilogy. Oh yeah, I was going to look at this earlier, but it didn't let me do too much. Okay, this is the grave marker we saw earlier. And it says, say the opposite of the truth, you'll be followed. I actually forgot about that clue. i got to remember that. We searched the grave marker, but nothing's unusual about it other than the graffiti. I don't think we have any items we can really use here, so we'll skip that. Yeah, I guess at some point, Buckbeak, you just won't have anything else to do. You might 100% it. Are you, are you going to try to get all the achievements? That might help you push over 110 hours. Okay, that was... Sounded like a ghost. Did not sound like the ghost we are avoiding. That ghost is supposed to be like a giant man with a bee fetish and a drill. That voice didn't sound like that to me. As we continue through the dense forest, a pained cry suddenly echoes among the trees. Oh! That's creepy! I saw that hand. There's a pattern on the tree trunk. There's an arm-like pattern on the bark. Is this even a natural occurrence? Yes! 100%. These trees in Japan naturally have human hand marks. Didn't you know? Let's touch it. <laughs> that sounds like a terrible idea. I look around the tree and find a talisman on the exact opposite side of the tree from the pattern. Thank you, ghost, for the talisman. I will take that. Up my uh, sp soul power a little bit. I'll take it. And funny enough that you ask, there's one trophy that's glitched for me and I'm not doing something right. Oh, does it seem like you have all of the criteria to get the trophy to pop but it's just not popping i've heard of that happening in games and that sucks like especially if you're an achievement hunter you don't want to just like restart the game what do you do and you have to obtain two armor sets that are not customizable and when you went to go buy the two armor sets it just wouldn't pop i wonder if there's another way you can get them besides buying them i wonder if it's a different armor set they're looking for and weird judge touch it <laughs> means look at the other side of the tree sure why not Okay, anything else in here? Any other creepy ghosts want to leave me guess on the other side of the trees? No? Okay, I think that's it. Onward. What do we got here? See, now I'm scared as my light flashes around. I'm just going to see like a face or something. Just pop up out of nowhere. Did I just go backwards? There we go. It seems like the same thing. Ah, this one. It is a different one. It says something's written in Sanskrit, but the letters are blurry. It looks more like a stain. Off to the side, I notice a thin trail. On the beast trail. We were already at the beast trail. Hmm. Another one, huh? Let's check this one, too. I wasn't done looking there. I follow Mashita 
into the bushes. Oh, see, that might not help Buckbeak. If it's an old guide based on the original version of the game, they may have updated the achievements a little bit for the new one. Not sure. Yeah, that's good. That's how I play games. I never worry about achievements. It's fun to get them. It's neat, but I, I rarely go out of my way to get one. Come on, game. As I take a break to chat with you guys before continuing the scene that happens. I was not expecting that. Mashita spots something and stumbles, falling backwards into me. At the same time, every single hair in my body stands on end. Jeez. I quickly look down and find something is clinging onto my ankles, its expression anguished. It seems eager to speak to me, but its voice is incredibly hard to decipher. And, and. Oh, I should be using this. This place, pitch black, and can't see anything. What's it saying? Wait, that gray marker said to say the opposite of the truth. But what's the opposite of the truth? Does that mean I'm supposed to lie? That's what it sounds like to me. How do I lie if I can't even understand this guy? Ah, oh, great. Hey, wait. Are you lifeless too? I think that says lifeless. I'm going to say I am lifeless. That would be a lie. It looks sad and lonely. Right. Only the dead are here. I hear another voice at my feet. Am I dead? I don't believe it. I don't understand. I'm... Tell me. Am I dead? <laughs> you kind of have to, like, read between the lines a little bit to kind of fill in the blanks. So hopefully I'm doing it right every time I do it. Oh, really? I always thought the GTA games Buckbeak were super long if you try to do 100% of everything. But they're so fun, it's <laughs> not a bad thing to try to do. And Judge, you kind of play games, and near the end, check the achievements. If I feel like it's doable, you might try to get them all, but usually you just ignore them at that time. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I could see that. Weird Judge is like, mm, this looks like I could do it in a reasonable amount of time. Other times, and the worst ones, are when a game has like a multiplayer-only achievement, and it's an old game, and there's nobody playing the game anymore. It's like, yeah, I can't even do this achievement if I wanted to. Okay. We want to tell him... No. Deny it. He, you're not dead. You're looking great, buddy. <laughs> no, no way. I still have to suffer. It looks sad and lonely. I think there's someone that recently committed suicide here. That's two down. I hear yet another voice at my feet. One, please listen. Not sure what this is trying to say. I want to have, I want to have, could that be it? I want to have. Live, that's probably it. I bet it's live. And then it says, I, I am alive. I think that's what that's saying. Yeah, you were doing great. <laughs> Step on the ghost. Nod. Let's nod. Yeah, I think you're right, Michael, as well. I think it's live. That's right. I'm alive. I'm alive. The voice sounds like it passes through me and then is sucked into the ground. we made it the next thing I know the shadow clutching at my ankles is gone 
Nice, sweet. Okay, good, good, good. Oh my gosh, that wheelie would be really tricky, Buckbeak. Is it over? Yeah, I think so. I thought I'd gotten used to that, but I hate it every time it happens. It's not like, or it's not something you need to get used to. Mashita turns his back to me and wipes his face with a handkerchief. I guess he was sweating really hard. I assumed we were the only one getting accosted by this ghost. That's the best way to overcome it. If you love pain, then it's no longer painful. That's true, but... There's no other way I could do that. You're surviving all this okay. You'll find a w you're fine the way you are right now. Let's go. Right. And with the beach ball, you have to keep it up in the air five times without hitting the ground or it'll reset. I don't remember using a beach ball in that game, but I'm guessing if it's only five times, that's probably really difficult to work. Now let's check this out. We knew about that. Let's feel it. I searched the grave marker. But nothing's unusual about it. I see the entrance to a beast trail off to the side. I could have sworn there's like a little baggie right there. I thought maybe we might be able to grab that. But are we going to, you know, go the route of stealing from the dead? That's kind of messed up. Okay, let's check out this trail he keeps talking about. I step into the empty clearing. The air is filled with buzzing bees. I should have saved it. There appears to be a giant beehive here. It probably wouldn't be wise to keep going without doing something about them first. Damn insects. But we can't force our way through. We beat a hasty retreat. This kind of reminds me of those gatekeeping snakes in the last chapter. <laughs> it's like, oh, you want to go upstairs, John? I don't think so. But we never did anything to the snakes. Hopefully we can do something about these bees. Alright, let's keep going forward. This is a dead end as well. What's in the box? Where's Christian? What's in the box? I think it's uh, somebody's head. Just bees. I'm sure it's just bees. Okay, this might be a little foreshadowy. But this little area right here. Something big's gonna pop up right there. <laughs> the, the dude with the drill. I'm sure he's gonna just appear randomly. <laughs> I love that relentless. You wanna go upstairs? Well, guess what, John? I'm a goddamn snake. What are you gonna do about it? Me and all my friends. Let's see. Oh, you found it's in a random pool and it's only for trophy purposes. See, that's kind of neat. I like that they have a little bonus thing like that, Buckbeak. All right, let's check this box. There's a wooden box that is probably used to contain a beehive. Uh, look at it. I carefully approach it, but I don't see any bees. Let's feel it. I open the box and find a metal tool inside. A crowbar. Nice. It'll probably come in handy. I'll take it. That is seriously one of the coolest items you could have found. It's a weapon. It's a tool. It's so versatile. <laughs> yeah, nice, Michael. Oh, no. It's just blood. Okay, we're good. No problems here. Nothing to see here. Move on. Move along. Okay, so that was a dead end. Hmm. I wonder... Oops. I didn't mean to go backwards. I wonder if we can do anything to the bees now. Oh, excuse me. So we got a crowbar. We got this night night. I don't know if the crowbar we can use to take out that beehive. That sounds like it would just get us hurt. I step into the empty clearing. The air is filled with the buzzing of bees. I see, we already read all this. Nope. We just leave immediately. So we don't have whatever we need for that. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
with that that quote in particular relentless it's like a roller coaster it's nice and chill it's like did i miss anything here items keys just genitalia okay we can keep going it's just <laughs> what oh that's great okay let's go down here i think we're continuing this way now we're or we're not at a crossroads yet. We're almost to a crossroads. But yeah, I don't know what we're supposed to do next. Maybe go back to that shack? If I go this way, this goes to the exit of the whole place, right? Yeah, we don't want to do that. We're not done here. Oh, Holly, you heading out? Have a great night, Holly. I don't have too much longer myself. Probably about 30 minutes or so, but... You'll get some good sleep. Thank you so much for joining us. Always a pleasure having you. And Buckbeak, you went through the custom customizable male shepherd options and just didn't really care for them all. So you kept the default one. Honestly, Buckbeak, when I play that game, I have the default one as well. Like, yeah, he's a generic looking, you know, white space dude, which you see gruff looking shaved head white dudes in so many games, especially mid to late 2000s. It was everywhere, but... That's just Shepard to me. <laughs> I'm so used to seeing him on game covers and screenshots. That's just what he's supposed to look like. That's Shepard. I don't know. Okay. So, I wanted to try going this side way. Yeah. Let's keep moving forward. Yeah, I don't think I've ever done the female shepherd. Wait, what do we do in our playthrough on stream? Is that male ship or female ship? I want to say it was male ship, but it's been a while. But that was super fun. I enjoyed replaying that one. It was nice to see all the additions they did in the uh, special edition. Okay, back in the cabin we go. We have a need for that layout. We flip on the sway to the base light, but it doesn't seem to turn on. Maybe it's broken. Okay, still can't use that. I peek through a crack to see if anything's inside, but it seems to be empty. Oh, maybe we can use our crowbar to open up this um, tool chest. It's a metal toolbox. I see, we already read all that. Let's try a tool. Crowbar. I take out the crowbar and shove it under the lid of the toolbox. I put pressure on it, using it as a lever. The toolbox pops open. Sweet. We got a sprayer. Now I can use a variety of drugs. <laughs> Kids don't do drugs. He's so excited with his sprayer. I don't know what kind of drugs he's going to be doing there, but it's something. Manipulators will themselves be manipulated. Hmm, somebody trying to confuse you and take advantage of you, you actually have to use that against them, maybe? What's that used for? The sudden voice makes me jump, but I shake it off and turn toward him. <laughs> yeah, right, Rilis? We can use all the drugs. It's a tool that sprays chemicals and pesticides. And drugs. You put the container of the drugs in here, and then do this. He quickly demonstrates how it works. Mashita scratches his face, his brow furrowed. You're well informed. I'll leave that to you then. And now you can say you used a variety of drugs? Make that a quote. <laughs> no, don't do it. Don't do it. Um, now, personally... I've never taken any kind of drug in my life. I guess the closest thing to a drug I've taken would be alcohol. I drink from time to time, not very often. Once a month, maybe. Twice at most. But uh, never smoked anything. Nothing else like that. I guess prescription drugs for different things. But I don't know if you can really count that. It's not recreational. And Buckbeak. You're really missing the Geth Plasma Shotgun in Mass Effect 3? I hope it makes a return... I don't remember or not if that pops up in there. It's been so long. And now I'm suddenly in charge of it. 
When I want to spray a drug, I'll have to choose which drug to use. So I guess we have to go in our inventory and do that separately. But this thing is really, or is this thing really that hard to figure out? I've never seen it before, but I still knew how to use it the right way. Hmm. Okay, we got the sprayer. I wonder... We haven't done it yet, but do you think you can combine items in your inventory? I don't know if that's a mechanic in this game. It might not be. So here's... Isn't that where all the drugs are? I think maybe we need to try... I can't even use things from here. Never mind. I guess we'd have to have something else. Um, what other item could I be missing? Can't go in there. Maybe we're done here. Sometimes you get an item and then everything else starts to happen. Like new scenes, new ghost encounters, and then you know you've done something correct. And Buckbeak, you can tell me it looks really unique and you can actually shoot it from a certain distance without getting up close. That's pretty cool. I mean, I love the power of a shotgun, but it sucks being like super close. Well, this is a shotgun that you can shoot from a distance? That's overpowered. That sounds super cheap. Keep going up. Where are we? I don't see how it's on the radar anymore. Keep going forward. There's that hand again. Keep your ass hand. Should probably be doing this a bit more. Just in case I miss something. That's a good question. For anybody that's played first person shoot shooters, what is your favorite gun of any first person shooter in the world? Could be something from way back in the day. Could be something much, much more modern. What do you think? I'm going to try to go down this hill. I step into the empty clearing. This is the B thing that scares us off. Okay, I couldn't remember which side that was on. So, we run away. Whoa, wait, what? Oh, I thought I was going to say all the same crap again, but no. It actually said, I love this feature to look back at the old chat. So it probably wouldn't be wise to keep going without first doing something about the bees. Oh yeah, there's that. We take out the sprayer, hold it in one hand. I should be able to use this to spray drugs. So now do I have to use Night Night? No? Hmm. Oh, I see it right up there. It's a giant beehive. I have no idea how far the sprayer can reach, but the hive's not too high up. I should be able to reach it. Thankfully, they're out of reach. Okay, now that we've looked at that thing, now can I use the sprayer and drugs? Or how does this work? I already have the sprayer out. Okay. Now I need to choose which drug to spray. I think we only have one drug, so you guys are going to get what you're going to get. Oh, what? I just did the same thing again. Uh, we want Night Night. There we go. I take out the Night Night and put it in the sprayer. I feel taking... I, I take careful aim and I spray the drug. <laughs> that was cool. The bee's movements get slower. Eventually, the hive falls completely silent. There goes our whole bottle of Night Night. Super effective against bees, apparently. And Buckbeak, they do have a Geth Plasma that's just very disappointing compared to the shotgun. And that three round burst is pretty satisfying. I love it when a game has a really good um, attack feel with that, like the guns. Oh, you're talking about the battle rifle from Halo. I love that too. I also really like the pistol in the first game. It was kind of overpowered. All right, we silenced every hive in this area. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my, I guess, little things on that. Insecticide takes care of them easily. I'll leave the rest up to you. So I think we're done. I think we just keep on going. They're no longer blocking us. Oh, save it, John. <laughs> Dang it, I keep forgetting to save. I'm so excited to keep going forward. Hey, did you hear that? I heard it. It sounds familiar. Turning around. 
I wonder if it's... Ah, when we see these bunnies, something bad's about to happen. Yep, that rabbit hops in front of me. The rabbit stares at us completely still. It's almost like he's waiting for us to follow. Hey, wait! The next thing I know, I'm rushing after it. Don't run off on your own, Kadia. The rabbit was at H Elementary. It showed up and guided us when we were in trouble. There's not some... No that's not some normal rabbit. It's definitely acting with intent. At last, the rabbit guides me too. Oh, some stairs. Interesting. An old Shinto Tori gate. There's a shrine here? Interesting. And Buckbeak. Um, the relevant machine gun makes a return to Mass Effect 3 from Mass Effect 2. And you were pretty happy when you saw it come back? Heck yeah. <laughs> um, I think one of my favorite sh guns from any game ever, besides like the BFG 9000 from Doom, is probably the Flat Cannon from Unreal and Unreal Tournament. It's such a cool weapon. It's a combination of a shotgun and a grenade launcher. If you left click, it like shoots out shrapnel that does a ton of damage if you're close. So it's similar to a shotgun, but you can actually see the shrapnel move and what you're hitting. It's really neat. And then um, I was also a big fan of the secondary shot, which actually shoots out grenades. So you have to be a, if you have to be a little bit more accurate, you take out the grenade launcher portion of it and you kind of shoot up to get distance. Raiden, how are you doing, Raiden? Welcome to the stream. Wrong game. There's no Batman in here. What are you talking about? Okay, so the rabbit's looking at us. Then soundlessly, it turns from the gate and hops into a bush nearby. Interesting rabbit. Where are you taking us? So that's where you went. Casca Dumbledore dies in Book 6. Or Nook 6, even. <laughs> Don't mess with Nook 6. How you doing, Casca? Good to see you, dude. Dumbass, what were you thinking? Wandering off will get you killed. Why were you so interested in that thing? Something's bothering me about it. I lost sight of it here, though. I'm doing great, right? And as you can probably tell, I'm up pretty late, meaning no work tomorrow. I get to stay up, so things are fantastic. And Buckbeak, you can say one thing about Mass Effect 3 is the particle rifle is so OP it shoots out a beam and disintegrates enemies. You just have to wait for it to recharge, which is also a bonus. I guess the waiting for the recharge is trying to balance it, but it's still too powerful, huh? And how long do owls live in Harry Potter? About six and a half books. <laughs> ouch. Ouch, Casca. Have you guys all been to um, Harry Potter World at Universal Studios? Andy's been wanting to talk, uh, been talking about wanting to go back to Universal Studios. We went last year, and I did get to finally see Harry Potter World. It was really cool. I'm not like a huge Harry Potter person, but it was fun. You went to the one in London? I bet that one's fantastic, Casca. I went to the one in Hollywood. Um, but it was also... Um, Oh, what's the word? Like, I don't know. I've been there enough times and it's not as interesting to me as Disneyland, so I don't need to go to Universal every year. It just feels a little too repetitious. But I heard not this year, but next year, Universal's going to open up Nintendo Land. And I'm all over that. I can't wait to see how that looks. That'll be really cool. And you've never been to Mr. Harry Potter World? It's, it's small, at least the one in Hollywood, but it's cool. The ride is really neat. There's actually two rides. One of them's cool. And one of them's complete garbage. <laughs> it's like a roller coaster. It's really short. And I think it's for like small children. Not like kids, but like small children. There's nothing to it. It's weird. But the other ride that you go through the castle and the line, and uh, it's really neat. I think it's really cool. And Harry Potter World was fun. Thankfully, you got to enjoy it just before the uh, rowling. Oh, yeah. Good call. Yeah, before all that stuff happened, right? And you uh, haven't, but you've tried the jelly beans before, and you have to say the soap and grass flavored ones aren't too bad. Some of those weird jelly beans aren't too bad. Like when uh, 
Andy and I do the Bean Boozled. The toothpaste ones, it's just like having a peppermint candy. But then you get puke or stink bug or something and it makes you want to vomit. Okay, so we lost sight of the rabbit. Just then, from out of the darkness... Oh crap! A huge swarm of beans descends on us. Ah, watch it. There are bees everywhere. We need to retreat. Mashita pulls my arm and we stumble back to the earlier crossroad. Guess we're not going that way yet. And can you yell, I don't know what that says, on a Hufflepuff? I guess. <laughs> is that a bad word? I have no idea what that is. Did I say a huge swarm of beans? Because we were just talking about bean boozled. <laughs> a huge swarm of beans set it upon us. That's funny. I was just talking about those disgusting beans. Now I'm talking about bees. Whoops. It works. I mean, if you're having disgusting bean boozled, it might feel like a huge swarm of beans is our attacking. You know, one time Andy and I, it was Christmas Eve, and as one of her stocking stuffers, I got a, a little box of bean boozled just for fun. We ate the whole thing before we went to her dad's house. We were both sick to our stomachs because we had so many of those gross ones. Okay, so I want to save it. I think I haven't saved in a long time. Record. This one right here is our oldest. Bam. There we go. Okay. So, crap. Um, I'm not sure which way to go now. I'm like all turned around. <laughs> I absolutely felt like that. That's why it makes total sense. A huge swarm of disgusting, vomit-inducing beans. Oh, we've come back to the Tory gate again. Okay. I don't want to go here yet. We have to get rid of those bugs. Can you do something with the sprayer? Using the sprayer could calm them, but... There's a hive above the gate, too. There's no way I can spray up there. I see. But it feels like the shrine is someplace important. True enough, but... That time the rabbit brought me here, it didn't try to go inside the gate. Yeah, didn't it say he went like a different direction? So maybe there's no reason to force our way inside. Time and... The beans swarm us. We got to get out of here. <laughs> run away. Run away. Okay, so I'm facing the direction I can't go. We can take a left or a right. In our inventory, we have the sprayer. But I think it's empty. We have to get another bottle of the poison to do anything. And I can't hit the... Um, that swarm up there, the nest, because it's too high. Do I have anything we can use to get it down? See, this is where it would be useful to have the other guy, because I bet he could use the baseball and the baseball bat. Knock that thing down out of reach, but I don't know if we can. I said only the kid can use it. Oh, crap. I see a, uh, a noose right there. I think I see a rope dangling. That's creepy. So this is a suicide forest. Okay, let's go right. <laughs> I would if I could write it. I don't know if that's possible. The cottage door is locked. Is this a different cottage from before? I guess it is. Some sliding wooden doors. There's a small crack between the doors. I can only imagine that creates a bad draft. We did one time, Judge... Um, if you can call him just a beekeeper, <laughs> the spirit that wants to put bees inside people. And, um, cause I try, I was trying to talk somebody down from suicide and I totally failed. So he ran away making a bunch of noise that brought the attention of the beekeeper guy. He killed us. Okay. The sliding doors won't open. They seem to be locked. I'm going to try using the crowbar. I take out the crowbar and jam it between the doors. Well, this is an emergency. I'll overlook this once. <laughs> That's our detective talking. But I can't break the lock. I throw my body weight behind the crowbar two or three times, then... 
There's a sound of metal breaking. Hey, we did it! The crowbar snaps completely in two pieces. We lost the crowbar and got broken crowbar. <laughs> Great! What a crappy crowbar. Guess the metal wore out. Never would have expected it to break. But it looks like the lock is broken too, so it all works out in the end. Assuming we never need it again. Then I guess it doesn't matter. Time to look inside. Let's check this place. I hit the wrong analog stick. Go back. <laughs> Yay, it evolved. <laughs> it sounds like it devolved, honestly. And Buckbeak, one thing you're looking forward to again in San Andreas is the burglary missions. I don't remember those. Is that kind of like a heist sort of thing where you have to go rob and run away? Oh, we can look at the statue right here. There's a leaning Jizzo statue. It's noticeably dirty, as if someone hasn't been looking after it, and moss is growing on its back. I pat around the Jizzo statue to search it, and there's a strange texture on its moss-covered back. When I brush away the moss, I found a yellowed paper stuck to the statue. Nice. More, oh, another talisman. Perfect. That gives us more of that uh, decision juice, I'm going to call it. <laughs> and there we go, right? And we'll just share part of the crowbar, right? If you break a crowbar, doesn't it just become a smaller crowbar? <laughs> And Buckbeak, you have to wait until nighttime and you have to sneak into people's homes and apartments and steal their money for stuff. Oh, I don't think I ever really did those. That's cool. It's a good way to earn a good amount of money early in the game when, and the game wants you to unlock the activity. You know, I think the only thing I ever saved up money for in those games was mostly property. It was fun to buy like houses and property and stuff and then get residuals later so it pays for itself. Just like real life. Right, we got some more soul power. Very nice. Alright. We we saved not long ago. Let's go ahead and check this place out. Dun dun dun. Hey, you overdid it. Now the door's stuck and hard to open. I push the door open and step inside. Only to run into something. Oh no. Stop. Don't come any closer. Oh. Not what she should have sounded like. If you come any closer, I'll, I'll sue. Sue for what? Personal space invasion? A woman has backed up in a defensive stance. I'm a black belt in Taekwondo. Then why do you want us far away? <laughs> I think you want to be within striking range. If you try anything, I'll... Shut it. You want to die? Is that a threat to her? <laughs> yeah, nice to meet you, Sue. We are the John Cadians. And uh, Buckbeak, you have to admit, once you're able to go to the equivalent of Las Vegas, you love hitting up the slot machine. That's where the money starts rolling in. How do you make consistent money on slot machines? And like, you like save it, and then just spend a bunch and hope you do well. If you don't, you just load your game or something. Eek. At Mashita's roar, the woman shrieks and falls silent. Why did I had no idea that was a loud shriek? It's incredibly rude, but honestly, I'm grateful. The wait for the woman to calm down before asking what she's doing here. We wait for the woman to calm down. There we go. Oh, forgive me. It was all a misunderstanding on my part. Ah, uh, she's not Sue, she is Christy. I'm Christy uh, Arimura, freelance news anchor. Though, I haven't done much recently. Amiru or Arimura? Right, I remember that you mentioned it. I do remember you. You were fired over that scandal. Should I be disgusted or amazed at his ruse? I'd say amazed, honestly. He's, he's pretty impeccable. Consistent. Um, anyway, what are you doing out here? Her expression clouds over. Oh, she probably has a mark and has forgotten everything, right? 
<laughs> yeah, nice to meet you too, lady. Damn. Oh, that's awesome, Buckbeak. I never went that crazy into the game. I think I did at least complete the story, though. Which was also decently long, honestly. Mashita huffs at me. You're going to make her say it? I don't really think you have to ask. Uh, Masao Kimura's face comes to mind. That's right. This place is... Who is going to die? Yes, I know full well just how stupid that is. But sometimes that's the only choice you have left. Oh, you gotta go, Raiden. You have a good one, buddy. Have a great night. Hopefully I get to see you again on Saturday. Take care, man. I should have known better. Such a thoughtless question passed my lips. I wish I could blame the mark for this. That tragic act of yours is damn near goddess killed. If you want to die, do it by yourself. That's why I came out here, so I wouldn't cause trouble for anyone. At the very end, I thought about calling someone, but couldn't, so... So I made up my mind. But then, in the forest... I have a bad feeling about this. And that was... In the forest? A huge man. An extremely huge man. No, actually, I'm not sure if he was really human or not. But I saw a figure like that. Then I suddenly got scared. So I ran into this cottage. I'm here to kill myself and I just run from danger. I'm a riot. <laughs> What's wrong? The two of you aren't saying anything. We're just being active listeners. It's a good trait. That's exactly what Mary was talking about. Yeah. Christy must have been Shimio, or must have seen Shimio. Which means she must also... Have you gotten to... Have you gotten a weird scar lately? One that stings every now and then? Aha! <gasps> uh -huh. I know the answer just from her reaction. How would you know? I only just noticed it myself. There's a strange bite mark on my palm. Yeah, see, it's a little bit different for everybody. That's cool. This is crazy. Someone receives the mark when they're already planning suicide? The height of irony. Like, I know you're about to kill yourself, but hey, let me speed you along the process. Make sure you can't back out. We've heard her out. What now? She planned on dying. Do we need to help her? Help me? I'm not going to kill myself anymore, I swear. So please, I'm terrified of him. Her eyes are serious. She must mean what she says. It might be only a temporary change of heart, but... All right, we'll help you. Our home base is Kajuo Mansion. We need to go. Oh, gosh. What's going on? That's not good. What? what? What's happening? The light won't turn on. This has happened before, but back then... I got it to go back on right away. But this time, it's not working. Ah! Oh, no. What, what was that? This is bad. Behind the cottage. It must be him. Shit, it's no use. I give up on the flashlight and stuff it in my bag. But what's the plan now? Do we bunker down in this cottage we can't even lock up because you destroyed the door? Or... We have to run out of the forest. Staying in the cottage would be suicide. This place is strangely clean. That means someone is coming here. Good guess. The odds are high that he's coming here. Let's go. We walked all the way here. We should know how to get back. You, you're seriously going? Are you mad? Uh, sorry, but we're out of time. Stay here if you want. I won't stop you. 
Ah. Poor woman, we're just like, see ya. We step out into the pitch blackness. I mean, she could come if she wanted, I suppose. It's as dark as you'd expect it to be. Anyway, we need to go straight back to the entrance with no detours. Okay, that's interesting. We've got no idea where he could be waiting for us. The worlds leave him in a rush. If I hadn't spit them out, I'd never finish. My voice is starting to shake too much. Hmm. Okay. This is probably a really good stopping point. I'll just have to remember at the beginning of the next stream that we have to beeline it to the entrance. No lollygagging, no detours, or we'll probably get killed. But man, such a cool, crazy game. What are you guys still thinking about it? Are you still enjoying it? Let's go ahead and save over this one, I think. Yeah, I think that's the one. Perfect. Nice. And it's so nice on these long stream days to get a bit further in the game. We definitely made more progress than we would have normally, which is nice. How do I actually leave? Do I go to bag? Yeah, it's under bag. Of course, bag for exit, right? Makes sense to me. I wonder how I increase my stats. I don't think it's happened yet. <laughs> Sometime, hopefully. Bam. 